<laughs> Making sure you eat all your food for your talk. <laughs> we back, man. Ant Man has done it. Yeah. Hell yeah. That's how you boy. start the show. We ain't even finna bullshit <laughs> and talk like we care about the rest of sports. We don't. Ant Man did what the fuck he was supposed to do. Game six, we had the watch party. Shout out to the live stream, man. Y'all was supporting. Third. What y'all think about the live stream game six? If we would have did it for game seven, we would have lost back our to back. fucking mind, bro. Back to back. We Especially prob- that comeback, bro. Back. We probably yeah. would just now be waking up. <laughs> <laughs> Both of our live streams been blowout games. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, shit. The yeah. NCAA championship. <laughs> was a blowout. What y'all think about doing the first finals game? Run it. I'm down. Yeah, that's it. We here. Game Everybody open. in town? I think so. <clears throat> Let's do it. Bro, I don't think I like watching the games other than that. I was watching the game Sunday. I was like, this ain't the same. <laughs> for real, for real. Dog. I was with my family and they just, they just, they just, they just, they just some drunks. <laughs> Huh. They know <laughs> they just drunks, man. What should we add to the live streams? Um, we gonna we gonna interact with these fans a little bit more bro, in the chat for real. Okay, I was trying to, but shit, I was so sidetracked. I, I say, I, <laughs> I, I'll, I'll say this: I wish we could show more of the game. Yeah. Well, not more. I wish we could show the game. We can't show shit. Hell no. Oh, yeah, it's shut down real yeah, quick. Yeah, but I'm saying, like, you know, so they could know what we react yeah, to. Yeah, because they have to be looking at the game yeah, on their TV and watching us on their phone or something. It like. still may be off. Yeah, so it's like, I don't it's know. It is what it is. It was two game it's sevens. High. Marcel went high all high. the way to New York to watch his Knicks lose in person. <laughs> not a Knicks fan, <laughs> uh, a Knicks supporter, though. What? They did not. Yeah, they didn't show up. It's crazy. It didn't, it didn't so feel like a game team? seven energy. Yeah. I'm a play, I'm a, I grew up a Bulls fan because of Mike in the 90s, but he ain't. Bro, not anybody the same. who travels to New York to go to a game. I didn't go set. I didn't go to New York for the game. I went for other business. I was just there. Might as well go and record people, get some content. <laughs> Did you go inside again? Nah, these tickets were crazy. Hold on. Whoa, 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 whoa. So you? You did all that shit <laughs> on that train. And just to take your ass back to the hotel and yeah. watch the no, game. I had to check out. It was a- oh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. Check out that swell. Nah. Pulled up I'll to the right city. Back. Check the energy. I put my bag behind the desk. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> hey, yeah. but didn't I say that by any? I'm glad New York didn't win, though. The only reason why I say that is because they were depleted, bro. They hurt, bro. Yeah, yeah. You they hurt. hurt. You don't want to see them go against Boston and they ain't got their full. They lasted longer than I thought they would, though. Yeah. For them to beat Philly, then come take end of the game seven. At full strength, I think they the best. Team they were, yeah, East. I agree. Who the Knicks? Yeah. Now watching yes. better than Boston. Yes. yes. Julius, yes. you got Julius Randle, yes. Bogdanovich, Mitchell Robinson. Oh yeah, Randle out too. Damn. Uh, OG. OG. I don't, I don't even count Randle though. Bro. Why not? He cool, but bro, he yeah. You see what I'm saying? Hey, he and Greg I agree. on the same page. I agree. What's the what? What's he wrong slowed him down because sometimes that's what why we know Brunson was that good. They be trying to run the offense through Randall. His ass stepping back, shooting. Third. Get your fuck ass down there in the paint. They really started going crazy when he got hurt. Bro. Yes, they a better team. They only lost one game with Randall and OG. In it. So you know what's gonna happen? Well, both. Well, both. Well, both of them. They only lost one game. And he's an all all pro. Who well, they gonna player. trade him though? Who? For sure, Julius Randall. Oh, they about to get a lot for him. Yeah, because they don't—they're not going to extend him for no. But well, who do you see that fits that system? Mm. Everybody I don't know. Help, it's a everybody tough trade. I think they everybody got too healthy? many wings, but they're going to get another wing naturally. Oh, yeah, like, they got to get a big. Do some bro. Dumb they need shit a try to go get Mikael Bridges. Yeah, because Josh something. Hart's a six-six-four power four. They need a four. I agree. You know, Julius though, Randall. Even though he in Minnesota, <laughs> somebody perfectly. Somebody perfect for that situation would be like somebody like a Carl Anthony, Anthony Towns. Town, yeah, yeah, but he ain't going nowhere. Like, of course, but I'm saying somebody mm-hmm. in that. that a four? I've been there nine she years. Get Zion. Mm. 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 That would work. Now, you might have just killed it, Dom. That's who need to be there. Well, yeah. he already Dumb. sold up. He sold up to, like, he just signed a new contract. Oh, he did? Yeah. Where he need to go? Uh, it's over to New York, New York, Zion Williams. The They're going to draft um, that would be my, boy from, my boy uh, from Purdue. Edie? Edie? That man's slow. Man, don't mind to see that garbage ass nigga <laughs> in the league. 
Hey, what's up? It's your man, Reggie Bob, and I'm back again with Prize Picks, where a single entry could be life changing. All right, we got the conference finals going on right now. In the West, we got the Mavericks and the Timberwolves. In the East, we got the Celtics and the Pacers. And you know we're going to have a new champion this year. Who you got? You got the T Wolves, Gobert, and the Ant Man, Atlanta's very own, or you got Dallas, Luka, Kyrie, and the rest of that squad. All right, over in the East, you got Tatum, Jalen Brown with the Celtics, or you got the Pacers. Which one you got? Now look, it's super easy. Simply register, deposit, and select more or less on two to six players on stats, points, assists, and rebounds to potentially win up to 25 times your entry. Plus, if it's your first time on Prize Picks, they'll match your initial deposit up to $100. It's available in over 30 states, so head over to Prize Picks and use the promo Broken Play and tell them we sent you. So go right now and download Prize Picks today. For your daily fantasy sports experience, daily fantasy made easy. Hey, all right now. <laughs> but for Ant Man to come back, they were down twenty fucking points, dog. Yeah, in the third. And I know they was counted out. Hey, they were counted out, bro. And they were talking about something. Well, Ant Man didn't do what he. Mm-hmm. Hey, nigga, he he led them to the other six games. Oh, sometimes all you need a lead, a leader. Sometimes don't have to score mm-hmm. forty points. He, nah, was but making, but he was vocally, still making vocally, plays. He was bro. making great plays. He was plays, still making but plays. But I'm saying he still was leading the team. And Cat stepped up, man. Cat, yo, salute you know to Cat. Nah, salute to Cat. Uh, the young boy with the, with the Braves. McDaniels. McDaniels, too. He made big shots. That's who too. was going crazy game six and seven for real, bro. Cat balled the fuck out. Cat, Cat, he did. He did. Cat was dumb. He, he really did. They, he did. The, the thing about I like <clears throat> about Cat and Ant is they know how to. <laughs> <laughs> they know how to. They know how to mesh and coexist together. Yeah, ain't no. And you can tell they different. Yeah, they, yeah. Different back but they know it though. And they, they put cool their egos that. to the side. Yeah, they put their egos. Bro, they you know my man. Yeah. I know I got. They my lame man partner. But look, <laughs> hey, <laughs> I'm gonna tell you this. Look, I got a cousin who talked like that. He was like, "Man, my lame man partner finna come over here. Y'all don't be tripping." Yeah, but yeah, we yeah, know he yeah, is yeah, lame man partner. But he cool. Them but real look, friends. okay, yeah. so they showed the clip. He work at Coca Cola. They showed. <laughs> <laughs> they showed a clip, but they did an interview and Ant mocking them a little bit. But then right after that, they walk. He said, "The best big in the league." Oh, for Cat, sure. Like you know, what I'm saying they like only I can talk shit about. My yeah, right. right. I'm a you, joke with him. Y'all can't. can't. Nah, yeah. nah, 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 nah. Here, you see that Atlanta. They can coexist. Right. And like uh, KG was saying, like he wish he had that with Steph. <laughs> Marv here. Stephon no. Marbury, because they Stephon wanted to be the star and like KG, they couldn't coexist. And Stephon was like, "I'm out of here." Bro, I seen the interview. Stephon said it went so much he of said, that. He, he said, said he want to live there. He, 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 he didn't want to live. He there. said I almost died three he times. He said he on spun out. Oh, oh damn. Yeah. No, okay, all right, all right. But you know, Steph, he still Stephon, Steph, Stephon Marbury a little different. Right, Minnesota is cold and it's boring. And you coming from New York? Oh, that's beyond Look, cold. bro. It is. It's cold. It's Listen, frozen. He went to New He came from New York. Went, went to Georgia, Georgia Tech. Tech. So yes. this New he York was in the Atlanta. Atlanta. Exactly. Now I'm in fucking in the Minnesota. 90s. Bitch, trade me. Yeah. <laughs> he was in Atlanta in the 90s, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, you're right. Okay. All right. All right. <laughs> Man, y- y'all got a chance to be gr- No, I don't give a fuck about this nigga. Big, big <laughs> ticket, nigga. Get me a ticket out. <laughs> yeah. I'm gone, <laughs> nigga. What KG was saying. He said they could... <laughs> P, if they if they if they could coexist, I'm gonna I'm tell you like some shit here, P. The reason why me and you, cause cause P, you, nah, hey hey, what up though? I'm gonna feed off you. Boom, ah, nigga. that's how we. I gotta watch Paul Pierce more now, bro. Paul Pierce. Is I gotta watch him. Underrated and really? funny as fuck. He's hilarious. Ain't no underrated. He's hey, always tweeting, right? Hey, Keith, look at this nigga, Keith. <laughs> <laughs> He's funny. I'm just saying, people. Look I feel it. like people, uh, they be trying to make a mockery out of him. Yeah. But he really just having fun. Bro. He enjoying retirement. Yeah. He done got yeah. the money yeah. from the league. <laughs> like, what? Nigga, I got money. The nigga, nigga Y'all seen when he MP? tweeted. What did he tweet? He was like, who want to scrap for real? Not online. Send me your address. I'm going to pull up with a one verse one. Damn, Paul Pierce. You funny, bro. But like Ain't I said, to fight your six, seven dumbass. <laughs> like no. I say, he just trying shit. He <laughs> nigga, tired, man. Keep pulling up a nigga yard. Hey, hey, unk. For be real, for real. Hey, that shit down, unk. Come on, don't do it, young blood. Man, let him out them pockets, nigga. Paul Bear, don't get his ass raw. Get down and lay down, nigga. <laughs> yeah.
and take that dumb shit with you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Paul well, Rick gonna pull up with the contract to 1v1 and then gonna get robbed. Like, and take that dumb shit with you. <laughs> <laughs> so you got any predictions? Uh, Minnesota. Minnesota in six. Five. Mm. You say five, five Reggie? Five. That's not a bad, that's not a bad, uh, it's not going seven. Five. Dumb, it's not Minnesota going seven. Minnesota can go five motherfucking seven. games, bro. Them it, boys is balling, man. It's not going seven. And they not matching up. They got, this is the NBA. I feel, I feel they you They got to sell motherfucking streams and smoke. That we need, they going to, they need, they going to, hey, they, they why need they seven. They, that's why they trying to hurry up and get Was to the Was y'all paying finals. attention to that game, that four quarter game, Denver and Minnesota? Did y'all yeah. not see three or four missed calls? Did you not see that? You didn't, I saw you didn't pay too attention? many missed calls the whole game. Yeah. They tried to make Denver but win that goddamn game. They wanted game. Denver to win so bad, boy. That's why I'm saying. I don't Minnesota know because Timberwolves are in the bonus in the third quarter, so they have the free throw line like Nigga, for you a only long get time. One quarter of bonus, bro. In the next quarter, go back in the go bonus back. in the go third, for, late in the third, and, the, and early in the fourth, they're in the bonus. Go back and rewatch the, the last five minutes of that fourth quarter game. You're gonna find at least four blatant missed calls, and one was an out of out of bounds ball tipped by Jamal Murray. We ain't gonna go there, but. That's why I like Minnesota in five because they don't give a fuck about what the script saying. They trying Defense. to win. You talking about you talking about them as a as a whole? Minnesota saying fuck the script. Yes, okay. yeah. the, the I script, know that man. The script saying. was for Denver to win that you fucking see, game, hey, bro. Who was who was uh, I talked to? But did y'all see the way Ant looked at uh, the Joker? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah him and Joker yes. when he waved. Yeah, yes. and hey, nigga, go on, go on about that. Hey, right, this. This ain't. I'm <laughs> telling you, he that. This different. <laughs> no, nah, Joe Matrix, said, bro. Fine. Bro, he don't care. If <laughs> I'm he telling can, you. If he can do KD the way he did KD, he don't care about yeah, nobody else yeah. on the court. That's his role. Like, that's he looked idol. up to that nigga. Yeah. yeah I, hey, but I knew Ant Man was different than Ant Man, just a real ass nigga when Draymond was talking to you. He said, man, you the only nigga trying to be tough. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, we getting money right now. Yeah. <laughs> you trying to get tough, nigga. Yeah. You're going to be in a play in, nigga. You the only nigga trying to be tough. <laughs> he Zach Randolph him. Yeah. yeah. I'm 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 where the bullies bully the bully. Nigga. Yeah, when he told when he told Big Cud that, didn't he? Yeah. Bullies get bullied where I'm from. Nigga. Yeah, for sure, for shit <laughs> show. But that would be the difference with that though. Yeah. So I don't know. I I I I will say what niggas not realizing that Indiana and Boston series gonna be closer than niggas. Yes, think. and I, agree. I think Indiana might goddamn beat Boston. That's going for seven. sure. That's going seven. But see why. Why why y'all energy different on that side? Because you got side. two bland ass teams. They're talented. <clears throat> not to I'm take not disagreeing anything with from because from Boston it, hasn't shown me nothing. And they evenly match. I've been real, saying that Boston ain't shit. Boston Tatum, ain't gonna Tatum be has shit. not done much impressive. But they haven't been challenged. Run. Exactly. I think Indiana gonna be their yeah. first challenge. And them the wrong motherfuckers to be challenged against because them motherfuckers just be running and shooting. They, 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 don't care in they like some young niggas Super. downtown and yeah. underground. Yeah. They running and shooting. Yeah. 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 Nigga, you Ain't no fight. Ain't yes. gonna be no fight. Nigga, we running and shooting. Right. Yeah. What's I, up? Get your new five. Pop. Come on, run it. Yeah, I know you said they shouldn't need the white man for his Zingas, but without him, bro, it's every, looking bad. Listen, Thad, if you don't been around me a long time, <laughs> you know... I change my motherfucking mind every week. They need that big white boy. <laughs> <laughs> what, which, which version? He 30, he 50%. Bro, he's but I'm not saying, going against, to do against anything. Against Indiana, they're going to need, need him. They Miles need him Turner going to have a field day. Indiana got a better bench, too, because TJ McConnell is going to yeah. yeah. That white boy, now that's the white, when we talk about a white boy on the team, <laughs> there you go. that's the type of white boy you want on your team. That's a scrappy white boy. Obi top and playing. I DJ. told you, you need a white man to get you to saw, the promise. I just sometime. agree with you. you bro. Saw JJ uh, Reddick. No, no, I'm saying I'm, I'm with you. I didn't know you leaned your glasses down. No, you know I was, I was disagreeing. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes nigga, yeah. nigga, you that like, yeah. You? yeah, I don't want no smoke, brother. I agree. You see, I got punched. So I'm, yeah, I got that cataract right now. Yeah, for sure. If the Celtics, if the Celtics and Dallas make it to the finals, who got the better duo? Between Tatum and Jay Brown, Jalen Brown, hey, and as an Ant Man, Luca and Kyrie. Paul, I can't even talk. I can't even talk. What the fuck? Hey, you my dog, hey. man. Hey, fuck around, fuck around, and find out. See that why? I ain't gonna do no. Next hypothetical. Man, shut the fuck up. Hypothetically <laughs> speaking, <laughs> if Ant don't go. <laughs> Fuck that, man. <laughs> hey, I don't even know. I don't even, I don't even I ain't yeah. here. Yeah. Nah, for real. Edit that out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 
that's when you say, Dom, edit this out. <laughs> edit that shit, Dom. Let me see what minute we at, Greg. That's why I got Greg. So I can see my Dom and Dom. 23. 14, 24. <laughs> no, nah, keep it in. They need to see why we don't fuck with that. They like, yeah, I see what they do. Yeah, I'm like, damn, y'all be giving Well, you heard what he so said much. last episode? Yeah, they it. don't understand why y'all be doing me like that. Now they going to see. <laughs> no, but. Oh, uh, I'm with that. He went again. Eh. Yeah, man. <laughs> I see what they talking about. Not that that's gonna happen, but to answer your question, I'm definitely, I'm, I'm definitely gonna go with Kyrie and Luke. And Luke. Hey, for sure. I talked a lot of shit. That nigga Luke is for real, and and the reason <laughs> for real, for real, because I was tripping a couple of weeks ago. I said Kyrie better than Luke. Shit, and, bullshit. And, and look, yeah. and the reason why I'm coming back to retract that situation. I still think Kyrie, like, one-on-one is yes. a hell of a fire. Hell player. yeah. Can I, can I but, touch bro, it? that nigga Luka controls a motherfucking game. He be just... And he, he shoot that bitch when he want to. He do shoot too much. But goddamn, that bitch go in. <laughs> that bitch go in. <laughs> bro, he make you play his pace. Damn. I love I love, I love, love that. Like, nigga, I'm speed up for what? Some yeah. unk type shit, for like, real, bro. Man, go over there, nigga. And when, <laughs> and when it's time to speed up, he move a little fast. Yeah. Look, this a little bit. A yeah. little fast. Hey, <laughs> SGA, nigga, that is not your fucking fault. You is a motherfucking dog. Yeah. You a dog. They cheated you out your MVP, and your team cheated you out this series. All that <laughs> shit. Who did that? That's that's what, okay, see, that's what it's that's a that's supporting cast. A lot of bark, no bite. Oh yeah. For Great sure. season, though, SGA. Great season, sure. SGA. They need to get it big in the off season, man. They just gotta grow up, bro. Yeah, that's all they got. Oh, young is yeah. a motherfucker. Yeah, Jalen Williams, man, Chet, like the hey, first. Hey, but Dom, you saying this? Team. You saying this? And we old enough to say it. We done seen this before. Don't just Talk be saying they Talk young. About it. Talk about it. They'll break some shit up. We done James seen them. Hey, them them nigga went they to the break finals. Shit up. Giddy gone. First of all, I hate that. Nigga. Ain't nobody so count Giddy for real though. For we real, we not no. talking about Giddy. We seen this. We seen this movie before in OKC. Thank you. That's all Thank I'm gonna you, say. Lou. This is the this is what we said. This is the sequel. Yes, part two, nigga. Damn. Lion King part two. One for them, hopefully not. Symbol <laughs> return. Uh, <laughs> nah, nah, nah. With the Lion King. Um, nigga, that's my favorite cartoon nah, of all time. Did you like? Did, <laughs> no, yeah. I like no. the first one. Uh, no, obviously, we, yeah. we we legendary. Yeah. We know that. But I'm saying, was you pissed off on the the, the second one? The new one, the newest one. The the last one that came out about yeah. two three years ago. Yeah, with Come Beyonce, Beyonce. singing. See what? That's a fuck ass movie. <laughs> hey, thank you, thank yeah, you for I, saying that. I want to thank you. Animal thank Planet. You for K I N. K I N. You seen the shit in three? I don't want to see. I want to see Mufasa, nigga. <laughs> Mufasa, 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 Mufasa. <laughs> I used to love Lion King, nigga. Nah, you right. And it, then you know what? We <laughs> we watch Lion King in real time. I was really a child when Lion King came. Right. Yeah, right. So I was old enough. I had to tape and all. But even our parents, <laughs> like you as a parent now, I can right? Watch that shit. You went to that new one. I took my. I'm all excited. Oh, yeah. oh baby, this is how Daddy grew up. Nah. I ain't grow up like that. Right. That ain't I grew me. up with a classic. This ain't that. You see what I'm saying? This ain't that. Even parents back then was in thoroughly in tune to the. That movie. Facts. Go to McDonald's, get all the cups on, and all now. that shit. Oh, yeah. For sure. Every goddamn toy. We win. Facts. What we see the Celtics and Pacers going? I see... Uh, six, six, seven. Seven. Six, I see seven. seven. Six, seven. I see them going back and forth. I six. fuck with the Pacers. What's my? What's the young nigga? Halliburton? That had the, the Reggie Miller. Halliburton. Yeah, that's Halliburton. Halliburton. Yeah. yeah. Tyrese Halliburton. But... He be popping shit. Man. He cold ass nigga. I like. Hey, that. he play his way too. When that, he playing, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. He play his way way only at home, all the time. Man. Only at home. Hey, only at I will home. say this though, Don. What are you doing? He, huh? Shit. He controlled the game. Game though. seven. That was sure. that was Bro, the one. He's a great player. That's like, the one game he proved me wrong on, on that statement. That's Ooh. all he needed to prove me wrong. And man. he turned it back up in the playoffs because he was some shit second half of the season. Oh yeah. He he just he just. They have his body he was, fit, but you know, he was. He, he uh, did he get most improved play this year? No, nah, nah, Maxi. Nah, nah, but Maxi. oh, fuck. but um, <laughs> you know, he this is first All Star year. Yeah, like you know, nigga party, nigga, nigga. He, he nigga, was going crazy. Yeah. Last year, <laughs> he was tired. He was tired. Yeah. So last year, this week, that weekend, he was able to still be working out. 
studying film. Nigga, he took a whole weekend off. He parted. That nigga was drinking every day at All Star Week. Yeah, you know it was gonna be jet lag. <laughs> they saying JJ Reddick is the potential leading candidate for the Laker head coach job. Man, don't nobody want to see no young ass nigga coach. We said that though. The irony. I mean, of but that's a obvious. Podcast though. Brian is, yeah, Brian, if they watch the, you know, yeah. Brian is not. He ain't slick, bro. Like he do shit like loud. If they watch the broken like, play show. I do not like that. Shit, they know bro. we already knew this shit. I mean, just just like uh, him going to that Cleveland game. Old boyfriend end up over there with his ass too. Donovan, uh, Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell. He might. Definitely he's reports smart, coming out that he's recruiting Donovan nah, Mitchell. That's Donovan why Mitchell there. coming to that team. I don't give a fuck if you don't like it or not, Reggie. <laughs> Lakers bro, that and shit. shit. <laughs> <laughs> that shit lame, bro. That shit lame. You saw the boy. <laughs> that boy ain't play another fucking that, game after that, that game. That nigga LeBron don't think about. Man, I wonder if Reggie gonna fuck with this. <laughs> no, he ain't thinking about my ass. No, he not. He doing what he's supposed Two to do. Two side, four five, bull job, <laughs> Lakers and five. <laughs> <laughs> like, can you imagine how much Shit, Uncle Shay Shay gonna be talking. <laughs> got to. Yeah, they don't got enough money to sign him. Who? Donovan. Oh, they they gonna figure that yeah, out. Yeah. Bro, what year is it for him in this And then Bron is a free agent, right? Yeah. Ain't Bron a free agent? Bro, yes, he about is. Bron? He got player pay cut. He take a pay cut. Hey, Bron gonna tell the nigga, look, bro. I don't know what they gonna put on them papers, but nigga, whatever you missing, come to the house. <laughs> I set you straight, and nigga, mm-hmm. get what? Get you a new shoe at Nike. <laughs> Well, who Donovan Mitchell? Adidas. Adidas. Hey. Ooh, now. You'll be the first nigga in the league with two How much shoes. they pay you <laughs> How much them three stripes really going yeah. for? <laughs> you can wear your Adidas and Nikes in the same game. <laughs> Which, what's better? Two for one or one for two? You can really do that for me, LeBron? All right, so you, yeah. I'm going to be Donovan. All right, all right. Bet. And you be, well, you be Brian. Go ahead. What they talking about paying? Huh? What they talking about paying? I mean, hey, you know, I just you got my address, don't you? Same one from last yeah. time. Oh, yeah, whatever you shot on that, pull up. I'm gonna give you a black bag. You just get the hell on. Well, what if they see? <laughs> Nigga, it's oh. gonna be it's gonna be like an equipment bag. It's gonna be a Nike bag with some shoes in it. Same. Oh, all right. Guess what? No, nah, them ain't no regular Nikes though. I'm thinking about. Giving you your own shoe at Nike. For real? <laughs> Nick. I'm look? saying, I'm saying they've been telling me a lot of lies, bro. Who are they? Okay, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now you talking you you talking to the nigga right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to whisper, but you finna make man nigga fuck them. All fuck right. them in that front office. Fuck Rob Palinka. All right. Fuck Jenny Boss. Yeah. And nigga get what? Tell me she wants you to <laughs> <laughs> Not in the form. Hey, hey, nigga, okay. this your boy talking to you. So then, you know what I mean? But I, I, I fuck with what you doing, too. Appreciate you. They you know, I've you, been looking up to they you. They call you Spider, sure. right? Spider Web. No, no, no. Hey, Spider-Man 4, guess who playing Spider-Man? <laughs> <laughs> guess who producing it? You. <gasps> nigga, we in Hollywood, ain't it? I can't do the shit if you stay in Cleveland. All right. You got to come out here now. So you saying, shoe extra. And the movie? Hey. And hey. I start? Hey, get what? I'm ready to goddamn chill out. This your team. You know, hey, <laughs> hey, AD's off of hell. You lying? Bro, have I lied to you one time? This is going to be my last year. When after, after we win this ring this yep. year, if you coming, you coming? The, the Deion Sanders still go coach in Colorado? We coming, nigga. <laughs> Buy rings, I'm out. It's your team. You bring whoever you want to bring in. My money gonna be free. How soon you need to know? Right now. <laughs> yeah, just like that. They ain't talk to clutch groups or nobody. Next thing you, you don't eat no Yeah, and that's how real niggas need to start making deals. Cause you know Donovan gonna be a little nervous. Yeah, keep everybody out the media. <clears throat> yeah, it'll make it'll probably make a lot more things in all sports go a lot smoother if they just keep it nigga and let the <laughs> niggas handle Look, what niggas got to handle. Yeah, we say to him, how many fine women you see in Cleveland? 
at the game. And I'm from here, nigga. <laughs> don't, don't lie. Yeah. It, it really don't be that much. Hey, what the nigga drunk line say? <laughs> See the honey from way up here? <laughs> <laughs> Drum line. The got going on over there. <laughs> <laughs> Drum line. Hey. <laughs> the goddamn uh, Lakers, they looking at Sam Cassell, too, as a coach. I need to give Sam a shot, man. Sam been, been a coach for two no, decades. Bro, you got to think. Let's be real. What? Sam is a egg lad nigga. <laughs> and as a t- God, you don't want damn. that in your head coach picture. But Sam, <laughs> you, you, you ever seen what Sam was doing the workouts with James Harden? Yeah. yeah. Bro. Shoot five. Run back. Shoot again. You miss. Go back. Sam Cassell is one of the, and he's from Baltimore too. For real? I did not know that. Sam Cassell's a, Sam real a real one. Shout out yeah. to Sam. Hey, didn't Sam win a ring with the yeah, Rockets? Boston. Yeah, yeah. Two of them. And Boston. Yeah, and the Rockets. Yeah, he was a, he was a young nigga. He had a, he had a, he, his role on in that Houston team was huge. Was crucial. If it's not, if he wasn't on that team, I don't know. Bro, he was young, but still looked the oldest on that team. <laughs> yeah, you yeah. he was mad, bro. Because I thought he was a veteran. I was like, damn, OG going, OG out there smoking. <laughs> My dad said, that's this nigga second year in the league. I said, I ain't no one of them I met him one time. Mm-hmm. We played against his son, AAU, basketball. So he must have had like a week off. He a cool ass nigga. Cool. I can tell. Yeah. On here we talk <laughs> shit, but nigga, y'all nigga know it's all love, man. Yeah. You can be a cool ass nigga, but still, you know a nigga ain't finna. But to Don Point. <laughs> you ain't no handsome nigga either. <laughs> <laughs> he do need a shot though. He been. For a long time. He been on a lot of teams. Yeah, bitch. bro. Give time. Phil Handy a shot too, man. Hmm? Phil Handy, the Lakers coach, assistant Lakers. coach. You talking about the one they got now? The assistant, the nigga who be doing all the, the dribbling. The, the, oh, the nigga with the gray hair? Yeah. Mm. I, I, I got to disagree. Because you... Go ahead. <laughs> nigga, you on that team now, you ain't doing shit. <laughs> what the fuck? Who need to give you a shot? What's going to change? They need to give him a shot. But they, res- but they, res- I see what you mean, though. Like He a player's coach. He a player's bro. coach. He going to get more out of him. Well, he should have got damn told Darvin Ham get the fuck out of the way. Man. Let me do what these players I, I think so, too. <laughs> Y'all are. Surprise. Oh, Malik Monk approaching free agency expected to command up to $25 million. That's it? And he deserves, he needs more. Oh, that's a year. Yeah, that's a year. Oh, I was going to say, shit. I think he he's looking at the Sixers, Thunder, Magic, and Pistons potentially. Go to the Thunder. Sixers, Thunder. Go, or the Sixers. Woo, Sixers, Thunder, Sixers. Magic, or what? Sixers. Why not the Magic? Magic would be cold, too. I ain't going to lie. Why not stay in Sacramento? Shit, Magic bro. is a boring-ass team. But it's really. all him, though. Nah, he don't need no Magic. Not if he want to win. Apollo yeah. team. Yeah, Apollo. That's all Apollo. Sixers. You right. Don't Man. go to Detroit. Damn. Sixers. Oh, no. Not Dawn, boy. Brandon Ingram potentially can be traded out of New Orleans. <laughs> Pelicans not willing to offer Ingram a max contract. Four years, two hundred eight million. Who the fuck you think you is, Chelsea Clinton? <laughs> <laughs> Chelsea Clinton. <laughs> Where can you see Brandon Ingram going? I see him staying. The same place as Brandon James. <laughs> Don't just dollar relax, China. bro. Shit, why not the Knicks? Stop it, bro. He says he's gonna that do really be, well. They got not... too many players. Too right many there. wings, bro. Yeah, they they have too way too many wings. wings. You y'all consider him a wing? Yeah. That's what I'm it's a small four. Like, like he more like a hybrid. He ain't a four. He's a three. He's he a ain't small a two. Four. You know what he'll be good at? A so team he not like a four. Dallas. He might as well come to, to the, the Hawks. 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 I heard Hawks. that. Hawks. Yes. Oh, bro. Nah, he would do good. What are you gonna do Hawks? here? Yeah, bro. He's he not he a four though. Well, I'm saying, but what? What? Yeah. He should be in the East for sure. He should not be in the West. The West a little too much for him. Much. Yeah. Speaking He's always been in the West though. That's why. Yeah, that's exactly. Why. That's, that's why. That's why. <laughs> Speaking of being a little bit too much for somebody, Caitlin Clark and the Indiana Fever start off zero and four. They beat. Welcome they, to the league. They beating her up. Hey, they they, they her taking her ass through the ring or two. Welcome to the league. <laughs> they had the number one pick for a reason. They was yeah. garbage last year. What too. you thought you were gonna do? <laughs> hey man, they beat up LeBron in Cleveland his first year. They showing your motherfucking ass. <laughs> oh, bitch, you got a commercial? 
<laughs> I'm telling you. Oh, bitch, you got a private jet? It's, it's times when she ain't even got the ball. Hey, they, hey, they said, they said, they, they treat her like Detroit Pistons. This is MJ, yeah. Like, God damn. Nah, it's, have you seen one? Like, just like a quarter? Yeah, I, just, I seen a couple clips. I, I said, man. Them. I know she ain't been shit on prize pick. She hooping, though. Who? Mm. Non prize, non prize bitch. Oh, you're she not, not hooping that, compared that, to yeah. how she was in college. Huh? She's not hooping like she was in college. Oh, of course. Of course. Yeah, it's not gonna... They yeah. triple teaming her. It's only four games in. They she had, might be tired. They had horrible takes. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Ain't that what we call the shit? We do takes. <laughs> Shout out to the uh, NFL legend. Keeping it nigga award goes to Antonio Brown. He has filed for bankruptcy. You lying. Yeah. No. God. That don't hold on. That don't mean that don't you mean broke. broke. That don't no, mean yeah. you broke though. He doing the same thing in the white folks. Donald Trump, Trump do it every two Hopefully. years. Hopefully. Hopefully. He is playing the game like I it's think, supposed to be played. Well, yeah. I, Hopefully. I hope, uh, yeah. Okay. Cause you know the percentages of niggas that as soon as they get done with playing. But I hope not though. Cause A B. 70%, bro. Damn. Nah, A B would get in that bag. I can't go. 70% now. I believe you though. You be knowing. Where'd you be knowing? We got some comments. O'Shea says, should have live streamed the Sunday game too, low budget ass niggas. <laughs> Respect. Kevin Garnett voice. <laughs> Damn. He put Kevin Garnett voice after it's aggressive. That was from the heart. Two stars. That was from the heart. <laughs> really? Damn. Damn. Low budget ass. Fuck that nigga P. <laughs> Damn. EBT the boy said, hey, Erica find his motherfucker on that live. She did something to me. I know she know how to mow some grass too. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck? Most of- but see, that's a different meaning though. <laughs> hey. See what that mean, my son? No, I don't know. I'm trying to ask Lou. I'm trying to ask Lou what that means. Let's go to our freaking analyst. I don't know what that means. Chavo said that freak ass nigga said. Transition king. Why is that the next one? That's the next one. That freak ass nigga said done introduced the whole game to the freaky shit. First Reggie and now Nav. Get that man some help. Shout out to Broken Play. This shit fire. Appreciate you, my dog. <laughs> Chavo said, y'all got to get Ball Dad on the show. Back. Yeah, we got to, man. Bet. He, came, he walked up to me at was working out the other day. He said, get me on your show if you want some truth, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> and he walked away. And he walked away. That's <laughs> easy. That's easy. I said, oh, yeah. He said, he said <laughs> <laughs> Lavish said, "Nigga really did only get the out for broken play." Real That's shit. That's what's up, boy. Right. Real shit. Appreciate though. you, boy. But see, we don't walk around bragging about that shit, dog. You see how you did? Yeah. All right, thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs> Rodrigo Sm- Smalley said, "As a female, I'm here for the niggas." Now I know this your show, but shut the fuck up, nigga, and let Lou and Ball wear them damn Daisy Dukes and booty shorts. <laughs> I stand corrected, my baby. Baby, baby you, 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 you rang and I answered. <laughs> ah. That nigga, Reggie said, fuck the shorts and jelly. He even wore some nigga. cowboy jeans. <laughs> I'll put these cowboy jeans on every motherfucking episode. I'm done with the shorts. You done with the shorts? I'm done with the no, shorts, bro. Man. Cause look, when I think I got some fucking shorts on that fit, I get to sitting down and fucking Erica Dutch is looking at my print and uh, shit. Erica Dutch is. I'm, I'm done. Ain't no nothing Duchess yeah, West Side. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, man. She choosing, bro. The views is up. The comments is up. <laughs> the love is up. Hey, we. Hey, it's for the lighting. You niggas turn your head when that shit don't move and ball and they in their shorts. <laughs> no pun intended. Yeah. yeah. That nigga George3295 said, where's the Let's Get Freaky merch at? Marcel? <laughs> we're, we're working on it. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't, look, don't look crazy now, nigga. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nigga said, I never come in on videos, but we need two or, two or three of these a week. I was fucking with Cam and Mace until this came out. This is that's like the third up. time that's been Bruh. said. Absolutely. No, consecutively. Beef, we ain't consecutively. Looking for. They saying that shit consecutively now. Damn. Oh, they, they talking about the 1v1. Mac Hendricks said, Freaky Cell gonna do Lou bad. Mm-hmm. Why are they putting a freaky in? Because of you. Oh, <laughs> nigga. Bro, I never called you freaky sales, bro. I said you was a freaky ass nigga. But I didn't give you a freaky sale name. Freaky but sale. But that shit's starting to stick. Freaky sale. No, freaky I saw him say on the, I saw on the uh, HPM. 
honey pack Marcellus. <laughs> yeah, that was crazy, man. We didn't get that chain. I thought that nigga announced a laptop. That nigga said the HP. I was like, what the HP Pavilion? What the fuck is that? Reboot. <laughs> uh, oh, this is a good one. Beast Mode Films. Y'all got to respond to this. Why is Lou and Reggie talking like they would be able to stop LeBron on the football field? If Lou can make it in the NFL, I promise all the hoopers they name could make it. Reggie talking like he's still in the league or something. Who said we said we were going to stop LeBron on the football field? I said I would much rather check LeBron up and down the 90 foot, 94 uh, foot court than have to. Try to tackle Lamar Nigga, Jackson in the open film. field. Nah, I don't. You do that, bro. I don't talk shit to the comments. Oh, no, 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 no. And and nigga, and thanks, stop I putting messy shit in here. I, I'm mad. I'm out. 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 i am out 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 i am I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so if it's Marshawn, then I'm gonna talk to him outside. <laughs> <laughs> let me all let you be I ain't mean none of that shit. Be more, let me all let you be more. I was drunk. <laughs> you know how there's a comedy show then first. Then, 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 then they'll say on life. I mean, uh, flight. I will. I, I October twelfth, thirteenth, fourteenth. I was drunk. <laughs> I drank in excess. I'm drunk right now. <laughs> I'm glad I don't have to get tested. <laughs> this is crazy. Man. Capo Potit 6930 6939. I thought that was, yeah. I thought that was Marcel goddamn username. <laughs> When I saw that 69, I was like, what the fuck? But he had two numbers. Big acting like we don't know he got one of them pages. <laughs> <laughs> hey, who said Marcel Jersey no more? Be 69. <laughs> <laughs> Never. Single digit numbers. <laughs> hey, we're in the 1v1, man. Yeah, I'm, I'm with it, bro. They oh, asking for it. I'm going down to go to the field, man. Have ball, be the quarterback. Boy, let me know. I'm with it. I can't wait to that. Cool. We can do that shit one because summer. I don't want to report on baseball. We can do that shit. <laughs> we can do that shit one day after the finals over with. They give y'all niggas some time to train. Yeah, because I got. I, I, if I get clear, I get clear probably about about two months. Perfect. <laughs> we gotta go to Braves. Like, 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 like you really want this smoke? I'm with it, bro. So out of ten, oh, no, out of man. out of ten attempts, how many catches you think he gonna get? More or less. More or less. <laughs> Make it a point. Uh, uh, what day you want me to do this? <laughs> Bruh, say my, maybe a Tuesday. It'd be like, a, yeah, I don't know. And we're 30 and in? Is, it, is that what it is? Fringe area? Red zone? 40. Damn. 40 yards? Oh fuck! Oh y'all! Oh, yeah, 40, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25, 25. Um, 25. All right. Because cool. if you do forty and then he ain't gonna make it past 25. three reps. Twenty-five. Damn. He ain't got no conditioning. Mm. Oh, yeah, I can already see. Yeah. He's sweating all the time. Yeah, it's pork chop season. Okay. Damn. And I don't even need pork. Damn. <laughs> Say less. I'm getting about leave five. Five to six. I'm going 50%. That's, a hell, That's, of a, the That's yeah. a hell of a day. Hell of a day. Well, we're gonna, we gonna have some we're gonna have some little food, some little drinks <laughs> on the side. We're gonna be chill. We're gonna treat this shit like the Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> this yeah. nigga said, Capo 69 said, hands down, this is the best damn sports community show on YouTube. Damn. That's what's up. Appreciate it, bro. Or look at yeah. this next line as I underline it. And what we love the most is y'all keep it nigga. K-I-N. Cause that's 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 our whole 
since we started our rebranding stage. Because <laughs> that Duh. had different vision for the show. What 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 oh. was it? <laughs> like the, like when when he like how you brought Donovan Mitchell to the table and you spoke that shit to me. How did what was the what sold you? What, or what was the or what was the initial selling point? Oh, well, in and, and the beginning, that was like, man, we could be right up there with Stephen A. Smith, man. If you you just gotta start, you gotta stop saying nigga, you gotta stop <laughs> cursing, wear a suit. So you see in the first episodes, I wear a suit jacket. I remember, I remember, yeah. I, remember, I, I was gonna ask you about so that. Dude, I think when well, you came with your interview, Red, I think I was so I, no, I had You ain't have it on. You ain't have yeah, it on. Yeah, I stopped But like I say, when I see my episode and you know the intro, yeah. and you in a suit, I right. said, right. Well, what was it, yeah, was it a dress day or something? But this was something. No, bro. Velvet and then, green. And one day, everybody else tried to start wearing suits too. When they did that shit, Oh, that was shout out to Yvette. When Yvette got them to do that dumb ass Yvette shit. Yvette the team player though. I said, oh yeah, this over. You looked around and you said, we I don't said, look good oh, as a unit. I said, we look dumb as a motherfucker. <laughs> yeah. I said, nope, wrong plan. Then he came to me like, man, we just got to get, we got to get some, Fucking we got to get cow. some players on the show. Get some big names on the show. I'm like, who you thinking? Nigga said, you know the offensive lineman who played for the Buffalo Bills? I said, I started naming them all. He was like, yeah, yeah. He on the practice squad. <laughs> so you need. Yeah. So now you saying yeah. you just want anybody on this motherfucker. So that was strike two. Yeah. Not Especially, that we got. Like, not that we I've got nothing on, against. I've, yeah. I've been on the practice squad, so it's don't. Peace squad. This, yeah. this, yeah. yeah. this ain't no. This ain't no disrespect. That count. count. But you can't be a you can't be a non skill position on practice squad. <laughs> and get a and get a, a invite. Yeah. What we gonna talk about? Yeah. Cause, cause old linemen don't do shit on practice. They chilling. I know that much. They don't do a goddamn thing. And they were the last and final strike. <laughs> when the nigga just thought, man, you be getting here late. <laughs> <laughs> man, we we waiting on you, man. Shit, I said, oh nigga, you think this one of this? I said, look, this what we gonna do. Who late, nigga? <laughs> we gonna keep it, nigga, moving forward. <laughs> Reggie came along. Reggie was. Reggie tried to be professional at first. Tried. <laughs> I swear I tried. You can tell. You can I tell, swear you can I tell tried. Reggie be trying to be. Yeah. When he's special, he get to, you know, yeah, enunciating his words. Yeah. So then when you came around, Lou, and like, like Reggie professional, you nigga. <laughs> and I was in the middle. <laughs> so you saying I'm all nigga? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Absolutely. But see, then we were still straight. Like, everybody played their role. But when we had that first live and we figured out Marcel was a freak ass nigga. <laughs> now everybody got now their job. Every, everybody, now everybody got a role in this shit. This this how it was like when, when the Boston Celtics were set up and they had Rondo. Mm-hmm. Rondo was the key component, but he just never meshed. And we're like, Marcel, cool, but like, what? What is he into? Because <laughs> we, we vibe differently without Marcel, but Marcel don't throw our vibe off. Right. But it's like we gotta figure out what gotta, the fuck this nigga into. We gotta, we gotta make, we gotta make, we gotta make him feel more comfortable. But I didn't. <laughs> but I, I think, I think he got a little too comfortable. At the last live, when he stood up. On that season red, looking for the hoes <laughs> and start doing this. He said, nigga, them my binoculars. <laughs> when I tried to start, I said, chill, Marcel. He said, nigga, these my binoculars. Hey. But we gonna keep it, nigga. Hey, what I'm gonna say, bro, sit down? No. no absolutely a grown not. Ass man. We, 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 I remember, right or wrong, I saw you from a distance. <laughs> I gave you an air doubt. See what he said. You know what I mean? I, I, <laughs> you know how he, you know how he dapped me back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh. <laughs> he said, "What up, Lou?" I'm gonna tell you this. You know what I'm on. I, I fuck with Marcel, <laughs> but if you ever overdose on them motherfucking honeys or blue, <laughs> don't think I'm coming to your funeral and saying. 
Oh man, he was a good. I, I can't believe. It. I'm like, I knew it was coming. <laughs> he did it to himself. He did it to himself. We we not gonna sit here and bullshit in this in this funeral and act like we didn't all see. It. Cause you, Gary, cause we could have stopped. It. No, but he told her, man. When I grab, I said, bro, just throw it away. That nigga popped my motherfucking head. <laughs> <laughs> that, that nigga popped my motherfucking head. He said, hey, I don't tell you what the fuck you do. <laughs> don't, don't ever touch this bag. He got a black bag. I thought he had a barber kit. <laughs> No, no, I I, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He got that Ray, Char that Ray Charles one. Yes. What did I tell you, pop? <laughs> no, no. It wasn't nothing but honey packs and blue shoes in that whole case. I oh, said, Ray, shit, what is man. this? I said, bro, what the fuck you doing? I said, you gotta stop it. I ain't gotta do a goddamn thing. <laughs> that nigga zip that motherfucker up so fast. I said, I don't care what you say, Nav. I'm not gonna stop. <laughs> <laughs> That nigga said, one thing I want to offer this show <laughs> oh, shit. is have visual have oh. visual guys have split screen views sometimes. One on Marcel, one on Nav, and one on Lou, and one on Dumb. Just a different perspective of the show sometimes. Keep doing your thing, fellas. Whenever y'all in NC hit me up, best barber repping Carolina Blue. Man, we appreciate you. I forgot what the fuck you just said, but <laughs> 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 man, I'm still hey, laughing hey, at this hey, nigga, man. <laughs> man, let's get some pride pics in so we get the fuck up oh, out of here, man. Oh shit. Let me see. <laughs> Can I look at your phone? And it, it's the hats he wear don't make it no better. That's a freak ass hat. You know what I'm saying? He's gonna make it shit. Nah, don't that. do that. Nah, nah, nah. Did you see that nigga eyes? Okay. He be thinking because he wear that shit low. Yeah, he wear his shit low. Niggas don't really know. We know. No, not too. Nah, I'm saying that's a different hat, Rich. Okay, okay cool. And, and, and you wearing yours like, okay. yeah, this me. Right, you see got eyeballs. You heard yeah. his shit. <laughs> what that mean? Hey. Hearts with eyeballs. What that mean? <laughs> Bro, I'm telling you, he in a he in a sex cult. <laughs> so people watching that shit gonna be like, they see that shit, they know you one of them. What they do now? That's all, right, bro. Hey. Yeah. Then it. Do <laughs> hey, shout out to Good Day Sense, man. The candles. <sighs> My boy. <laughs> gonna shout him out. Uh, Let's do these prize picks, man. Uh, what? Uh, last week we ain't do good. I know we ain't do good at the live stream either. Uh, Shout out the live stream. I, t I asked that nigga Ryan. I said, "Bro, what you think about the live stream?" He was like, "Y'all got something?" He was like, "The first one, y'all was talking about the game. The second one, y'all just had a part." <laughs> <laughs> and when he said, that, "I thought about," it, I was like. His ass is right there enjoying it too. Hey, yeah. yeah. hookah in the office. Talking about something. Oh, we made right. a rule, nigga. The hookah for the women. He take the hookah in his motherfucking office. I for I knew I foresaw it. I told y'all that was gonna happen. Yeah. I know. I told y'all that was gonna happen. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
He's underratedly funny, man. <laughs> <laughs> That's fuck. Like, it's well, just I'm little just subtle saying. shit. Go on, man. You can help me. How many episodes we done did in there? Like what? We in the thirties, right? Thirty six. Well, forty six plus like ten from last. Oh, year. that's crazy. I think out of the forty six, I don't put in forty entries on my personal account, which I'm not tripping. Keep going. But for this nigga Marcel to say it's personal, nigga, as many times I'm looking at your record, as many times you don't made me lose. Whoa, I got the best record here, bro. You do, but you still got nine losses. Mm. How many wins? Fifteen. Well, what's the next amount? The highest amount? Me, fourteen. How many losses you got? Fourteen. I just started this shit, so <laughs> don't don't put me in that. Luke, right, I'm betting ten dollars. That's the thing. Oh yeah, but see, you can't I'm do much. much. I'm betting ten. You two and four. They lying. For real, bro. I be goddamn. I'm trying to make us win, bro. All right, I'll, I'll use my account, bro. I'm, Thank I'm, you, bro. Thank you, Marcel. I'm Who's betting ten. I'm betting ten to twenty. Oh, don't worry about it. Don't worry. I'm about telling you. Yeah, what you got? All right. If they got hell Man, we got, we got women in here spending more money than you motherfucking niggas. Where them dollars at? I feel like uh, we're in a strip club. I'm looking for them. Yeah, there you go. That's better than 10. It is. She got more money in her account. Shit. Yeah, yeah, see, I ain't got yeah, right yeah, out of my yeah. shit. On, man, man, give her the mic, man. Give her the microphone. They, they, they be saying they can't hear Vic. They said they want the camera they they on Yvette. They see Yvette. Yeah, they want the hot see. seat. Hey, I will tell you this. It don't matter how event with her baggy clothes, she still got sex appeal. Some women can't do that shit. That's real. Period. Because yeah. event, your real. pants be bagging than a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I doubled down on that after you talked shit the last time. I saw. I said, God damn, she and needs she a belt. Still, and she hey, I, <laughs> I, hey, I felt like my uncle. I was like, hey, pull your pants up, young man. <laughs> But she still can't do sagging no more. Ain't pull your pants up, man. But it still got her sex appeal. Yeah, some of these girls wearing it for the wrong reason because ain't nothing to appeal. Ooh, bars. Bars. What? So, yeah. Um, I'm keeping it nigga. I'm about to bet on that. You said you got Horford, Reggie. What did I say? That water Horford thing? over nine and a half. Yeah. yeah. Over nine and a half points. Yeah. I got, give me Jason Tatum over 39 points and rebounds. Give me um, Derricka Hamby, PRA, 29 and a half. Los Angeles Sparks. Over how many? 29 and a half points, rebounds, and assists. What's his name again? Her name's Derricka Hamby. Name off the top. Nav, Lou, and Dom. Give me a. Uh... You got uh give me dunks, OB Toppin. Point five? You younger yeah. from uh Pacers? Pay- mm-hmm. Yeah, you know he gonna he, he, be, he be he be he be ready to dunk some shit. Only thing he can do. Hold on. What did, who what names is already used? Jason Tatum, Al Horford, OB Toppin, and Derrick Hamby. Mm. This is for Junior. I'm going Halliburton. Somebody already use Halliburton? Nope. Mm-hmm. Halliburton. More than 18 and a half points. I already had that queued up. Oh, you already said it? Mm-hmm. I had put in a couple. Well, I didn't put in it, but I already had it. That's your pick? Mm-hmm. Oh, she didn't say it yet. Oh, oh, so then you take that pick. That's your pick. Uh, yeah. All right, let's do another one. Let's do one of these niggas I know. Oh, it's just for the Indiana Boston. Or you can go WNBA tonight. Or no, you can no, do... I'm, I'm going to go, oh, no. go Derrick White. Less than 16 and a half. 16 and a half what? Le- points. Over PRA? How many?
Um, that's that's six right there. So Lou, you can do the insurance. I just, I just, how many? I just did three picks. <laughs> I I know, pick. oh, wait, Never I mind, have... man. <laughs> no, another pick. I did too. <laughs> well, you, they share a pick. Yeah, both of them got the same pick. Uh, yeah, no, yeah. So they just gonna go in on the Halliburton. Who had you holiday? Or did I put that in? Nobody. Nobody. Okay. I'll take that out. Put holiday, and I'm gonna go with my Halliburton. Okay. That's yeah. That's seven though. I put Halliburton more than more points, more than eighteen. One of them insurance. Do insurance. <clears throat> do um. Do an insurance with the taco. Yeah, with Jalen Brown. Kind of put this. All right, so who you got, Yvette? You got Drew Holiday? Yeah. You said over for Halliburton. No, no, no. I'm over for Halliburton. 18 and a half. 18 and a half. Okay. So what's your? Yeah, more. And then she took the Drew Holiday. No, I had the Halliburton one. I love that. So, okay, so then, okay, take the Halliburton. You take the Halliburton. I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to take Derek White under 16 and a half. Less. And just <laughs> like that, we're back. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the mood real heavy in here today, man. We got the goat in the building, man. We got Clarissa Shields in this yeah. moment. Y'all clap it up for him, man. Yeah. The quote. The quote. Yeah. The quote. The quote. The you got to pronounce it like that. The champ is here. The jawotes. Jawotes. Like, make it French. Like, you know, uh -uh. Elegant. It's quote. It's just quote like mm -hmm. that. Like, for Add the W. Quote. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, you sound good. That's it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so, so what's that acronym for? Oh my god. Greatest woman of all time. <laughs> no, but for the, now come for the on, show. Man. Are you doing that for the viewers? Yeah, man. Oh, okay. Oh, oh the man. viewers already know. Yeah. Hey, what? Dude, they first of all, know. see <laughs> nigga go to one elementary school graduation. <laughs> I ain't gonna tell me how to read stuff. Well, I'm giving it for the viewers now. All right, you right, my bad. You from Flint. Like what got you in the fight? Honestly, I didn't want to be a fighter. I wanted to take up after my dad. And he was talking about how he was struggling and how he was going through stuff. And he said if he would have stuck to what he was passionate about, he wouldn't have went to prison. So I always ask all these questions like what, why, or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I was like, what was you passionate about? But when I asked him that, what he was passionate about, whatever he said I was going to do, if he would have said a drug dealer, I'd be a drug dealer. Yeah. But Passionate with the shit. Yeah, but he said boxing. And I was like, fighting people? And he was like, yeah, but my dad never wanted me to box. He told me since I was a little girl, he always told me I was too pretty to box, and I was way skinnier back then. So my dad was like, mm. when I asked him, could he sign me up for boxing, he told me no. Man, once you got it, you you felt you fell in love at, as soon as you got in? I was a natural born fighter. Really good at it. But before me. that, was you fighting like in the in the neighborhoods and stuff? I had whooped a little ass in the streets. <laughs> <laughs> the mm -hmm. I, I honestly... My sister, my mom, and my brothers tell you that I'm a better street fighter than boxer. Like, I think I picked up boxing and just it made me feel good, gave me confidence, uh, you know, just helped me in so many areas of my life, you know. But before then, I mean, street fighting is just so easy. What's your go-to move in a street fight? Well, you just grab them with the, grab them with the left, punch them with the right. If no I gotta whip. grab your hair, oh, your hair. shirt, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm yeah, one of them. No whatever you, whatever you could grab, you like a mama. Whatever you grab first, that's on now, your head. Now, I'm not gonna. We know. I have hit somebody with a brick, but the dude was big. Oh, God. The dude, Craig. yeah, the dude was big. <laughs> but yeah. I only had to do that one time. Yeah. But I think shit. I gonna... bet you did. It's all yeah. the time. <laughs> ah, you got it. Got it. <laughs> It's my sister though. My sister getting into so much stuff like like my younger sister used mm. to. And man, she was arguing with this dude. She called me and said that he hit her. I just went over there, had the brick in my back pocket of my jeans. He ain't know I had it. Well, see, Lil Su probably do that shit on purpose. All the time. Cause she knows she who she calling. <laughs> Fuck with me, nigga. Yeah. yeah. Oh you, yeah, you got the right bitch. <laughs> Cause, you, Cause you got the even right of bitch. Sis. Where you at, son? Sis, we outside American Jelly right now. Go <laughs> handle this shit. Yeah, sister out of control. Nah, for real. So look, who would be your like dream? Like, cause you know, like 
when boxers come out, they have people walk them out. Like, I, I can see like Sexy Red walking you out of Glorilla. What? Mm-hmm. You crazy. You went like Sexy Red or Glorilla? No, Glorilla cool, cool. but I mean, it, I, what's I, your go to song then? What's your favorite song right now? By, by anybody, I guess. Right now, uh, let me look at my phone. I probably just downloaded something. Let me see. She might want that boy, uh, no, I like for for a walkout song. Yeah, I like. I need Fifty Cent to walk me out before I die. Mm. What song though? What I get money. What? See? Oh, that's a classic. See? I get yeah. it. Yeah. And she from yeah. Michigan. She from Flint. You remember Floyd used to have Fifty walk him out. Yeah, well, I would love to have Fifty Cent walk me out. Connected the hell out them dashes. Yeah, because I ain't know what you're going with that shit. No, I'm a real. See, I'm a real boxing fan. <laughs> yeah, because Floyd and Fifty were super cool yeah. before right. all this. Yeah. Not yeah. knowing how to read stuff happened. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? He said, if you could, in a coloring book, nigga. <laughs> 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 it's a, it's a bucket of ice, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> hey, the funny thing was Vinny said, what the fuck I do? <laughs> like, what? What you hit me for? <laughs> so you say 50, I get money. Yeah, and like right now, like that Kendrick Lamar, not like us, is just oh, like, it's on, a, man, it, it just well, that'll make crazy. me whoop somebody. Somebody ass. playing right now. 60. <laughs> Huh? Yeah, ass nigga, sixty nine God. Listen, he he, he can crazy. say that the shit the whole way to the ring. He ain't got to do the first part. It, it, it just that part when he be like, sometimes uh, sometimes you got to pop up and show, show niggas. Like, that's oh, the part right there, like word up. Yeah, you pop, I pop up like and that? show your ass for yeah, real. For sure. <laughs> hey, what made you give out that challenge? Like a hundred thousand or somebody could be like, I believe me, I could tell you confident. But God damn, these fans is crazy. That's where I, that that's where it came from. Okay. Oh, yeah. I wish to box. I make millions to box. So a hundred thousand, like that's like chunk chain. I swear to God, my chain costs a hundred thousand. Yeah, but Ooh, you blessing like, them, but they don't like, get that if playing. they lose, right? Like no, you don't get shit. You lose. You walk away with zero. Good job for coming. But no, a dude. <laughs> <That's awesome. laughs> I started off with like the fans is crazy because. Okay, I just got this. I've been a star for a long time. I won the Olympics twice. Yep. Um, no, for sure. First to do that. First to do that. First to do that. We ain't going to speed do that. What, twice? First to do that. really not bragging. It's just the truth. Like, I got two really Olympic gold me. medals. Huh? 13-time world okay. champ. Okay. Top Three-time undisputed world champ. Mm. I'm the most accomplished boxer in the history of boxing. Yeah, I wish yeah, we had yeah, a drum so every time you said that shit, we could have hit a fucking drum or something. Because it's just like... For oh, a woman to be this great at boxing is kind of, kind of crazy. Yeah. Did you look up to Layla Ali growing up? I looked up to it was weird. I looked up to Serena Williams growing up. Mm. Boxing wasn't mainstream. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like women's Especially boxing women's is getting boxing, mainstream yeah. now, mm-hmm. but before you know, I won those two gold medals, you couldn't really catch no women fighting on TV. Mm-hmm. It, you don't think what was it? Is it, it was Layla Ali and what's the white lady? Yeah, Christy Martin bum Christy, ass. Yeah, they was. <laughs> Oh shit! <laughs> she, she, she went talking about shit. She was getting some money though. I'm asking her. Don't Christy think. Martin was fighting on the undercard of Mike Tyson, and she had gone there and get all bloody, take all these shots, and and maybe knock a chick out, and maybe not. But she was not no good boxer, man. And that's not being no hater, but people don't want to talk about like how racism really exists in our sport. Mm-hmm. You would have had a black girl out there whooping ass, but she all bloody and stuff. Nobody would have knew about her. They probably wouldn't even give her, give a black girl like me an opportunity to fight on the undercard of Mike uh-huh. Tyson. Right. Like, come on now. But you knew who was Matt? Don King managed it. Uh-huh. She fought against strippers, uh, ballerinas. Yeah. <laughs> she, she didn't fight against she, no real yeah, fighters. She didn't want to do that. Nah, but when you talk about boxing, you know Layla Ali, you know Christy Martin. Y'all know me, me and St. John. I don't. The Talk. porn, the porn star. Oh, how she look? Now you might be talking my language. <laughs> Let me see. What's her, what's her other name? Talking my language. Um, Ann Wolf. And no, her other name. That's her other name is Ann Wolf. Mia Saint what? John. Mia Saint John. Oh, wo- the porn oh, oh, name. oh, what's her? Oh, I don't know her porn name. Yo, y'all. Oh man, y'all. What? See, y'all talk about me, man. It's not me. I, man, act it's like not you don't me. know no names. I don't. I don't. <laughs> okay. I, the only okay. porn star name that I know is Super I I've never known no nobody else's name. I got you. Yeah, I don't watch celebrity porn. I watch amateur. I keep my shit. I like to try. I remember running to the, the porn stars I watch. Hey, I see you. <laughs> I think she went by Mia St. John on that, on, too. On both? 
Yeah, We're this locked is, in, eh? This is out, this is out of sight. <laughs> no, I'm fucking with you. No, <laughs> but nah. So look, tell me this. Like, what you think about, like, do you think showmanship plays a lot into it, too? Like, and when I say showmanship, like, like basically selling yourself outside the ring. Absolutely. <clears throat> yeah. I mean. When, when did you notice that part of it? You know what? It was strange. I probably had about 100,000 followers mm -hmm. on Instagram. I had, I was already world champ. I was undisputed at the time. My first undisputed champion. And I remember uh, I was going to the fights, you know, the Canelo fights. Uh, wilder fights. I remember, like one of my fans, she you could tell she was a fan, but she was scared as hell of me. Mm -hmm. And I was like, "What you scared of?" She was like, "Cause you know, up on TV, you're yelling, you're screaming, you look, you look bigger, you look meaner." I was like, "Oh, that's just TV," but they don't know that. Mm -hmm. So that's when I decided to change up my image on far like as far as in what I shared on my platform because I have my own fans who love and just follow me. Me, yeah, for you. Whatever I do, they're going to follow. And then showing your personality outside of that, like, you you know what I mean? Right. You know what's going on. You talking, like, your right. fans will be like, oh, damn. She be really cool. like one of us. Yeah. Yeah. one of Right, so I had to do that. But when you give, like, I had, show, I had gave Showtime the responsibility of promoting me and marketing me. And Showtime, when they was posting stuff, Oh, you know, black girl, Flint water crisis. She was raped when she was younger. She was uh, sexually abused. Yeah. She got bullied. And they, I mean, they really painted me out to be like, I'm a woman who hate men and I box because I want to hurt people and <laughs> yeah. I possibly want to hurt men. Like, I'm just a fighter. I'm an angry black woman. Shit, and, and that's like how a, they did it. A tubey version of Creed. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly. But but oh, it wasn't true. But it yeah, was like it I had true. to take control like, of it though. No, but but to what she's saying, that's what they do though. Yeah, mm -hmm. they do that. They do that to sell that narrative, so they can get some quick dollars in their pocket. Yeah. But now she got a she got them. and they, we got to thank we got to thank God for social media, mm -hmm. low key, because now we got control. Yep, we control the narrative. You know I'm like I'm I'm like my own uh, newscast. Right. Yeah, yeah. Like I announce. You promote what you want to promote and say what you want to say on your page. Man, I don't. I share stuff that they pe listen. They always trying to collaborate. If it's a certain video, I'm like I ain't collaborating on that. <laughs> you talking about the the them Showtime, the boxing pages, oh, the, or whatever. The Showtime. I mean, even now you got ESPN, ESPN Ringside, ESPN W. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you got a lot of stuff, and they just want you to just put it on your platform because. That's what they, wanna they to want people to talk about. They yeah. want your fans to come to their their. But stuff. I'm like, no, nah, yeah. I don't even want my fan talking about that because that because that's just silly. But I do do some stuff that be like, yeah, I ain't even about to share that with all my fans. I'll probably leave it over here on YouTube or leave this over here on Twitter. But I ain't about to take it to my Instagram wall where, you know, I got almost a million followers and like some true fans who follow everything yeah, yeah, I do. Like, I ain't bringing that, bring that negativity up over here. And then it'd be the comment and like ratio. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got true supporters. They liking whatever you, they might not even watch. watch what you done said. They like yep. it before they watch it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So it's like, you got true fans. What you think about like how the WNBA, you watch WNBA? I watch it now. Shout yeah. out to Angel Reese and Caitlin Clark. Yeah, so it's like. Yeah. Shout out to them. So that's how, I, like I asked that, cause I feel like the comparison of like, Women boxing and WNBA, like, it's making that leap. Like, it's coming yeah. out of nowhere. Well, people would rather watch y'all for real. No, nah, 100%. 100%. It all goes into the, um, it all goes into the hard work of it. You know what I'm saying? But right now, any girl I talk to, I tell all of them, build your brand. Mm -hmm. Like, don't let nobody else build your brand. You build your brand. Like, for what sure. do you want to stand for? What you want to represent? And I ain't going to lie, as much as I don't like Jake Paul, he, 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 he knows how to promote. Hey man, he know how to do that shit. Him coming from YouTube with a million subscribers, <clears throat> and then coming and doing what he did in boxing, shit. I'm almost, I'm at sixty thousand subscribers right now on YouTube because I'm like, he telling me he making a bag off of that. He making a bag off the boxing fights. He make, he making a bag just posting videos about what he doing. Mm -hmm. They coming and shooting them for free, but he gonna make money off the other side that yeah, can't nobody but, touch. Yeah, well you can't even. My Come day on to now. day before the fight. All exactly. That he can stream. He, he's yeah, streaming. Stream. He's streaming the, the, the press conference. All that. Him and Mike Tyson, you got to go to his page. All that. Fuck Showtime and 
All them other ones. You gotta come. You gotta come. Have yeah. you stepped into that streaming? You st- are you streaming now? What's me on YouTube? Like live streaming. Don't they, do, they got the platforms where you stream your everyday life and that type shit? Mm-hmm. Twitch. Yeah. No, I'm not. Platforms. I'm not familiar with Twitch yet, but I'm on. I'm on YouTube, uh, making some money. I just made two thousand and one month off YouTube. Mm-hmm. Just and now. would you just showing like will you show like you sparring and stuff sometimes? Well, not even sparring or just I working go live, out? hit the bag. Talk about stuff that's going on. Like, I don't know if y'all seen it recently. I had a little beef with Tank. I had a little beef with Ryan Garcia. Oh, yeah. It really wasn't no beef with Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia. Yeah. I saw, yeah. the, I saw yeah. that shit. He DM'd you? Cool. Ryan? Yeah. Ryan Garcia? Yeah, nigga, somebody breeding a fucking baby. Yeah, he said Stupid they can get a superhero super or something like that, didn't he? A super baby. A super human. But the, 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 they use the word breed. <laughs> like, nigga, Man. That like, ain't no game, nigga. Are we in the slave days or what? crazy. I was like, I think I texted him back and I think I wrote him back and said, you need help. I, I couldn't even think of nothing else to say. Hey, but let me ask you this. Is is he your type? Like, not your type. Like, <laughs> hey, it's going to sound wrong. Like, well, was he tripping? My Well, my type is my fiance. That's for sure. For shout out to Tony. But, right, First shout out to Tony. Tony. Shout, out to Tony. Hey. <laughs> but, shout out to Tony. Um, Real I nigga. Think, I think that... <laughs> <laughs> she don't even want to answer now. No, I what, think what, that what, when what it like comes right to, <laughs> no, when it comes to like dating, we don't talk much about beta males and alpha males. Mm. And I'm an alpha female, so Ryan's a beta male. Mm. Even if, let's say, hypothetically, I wasn't in a relationship, he too soft. Gotcha. And I, you know, knock his ass around. I need an alpha male, how somebody can who can help. How you can sense that through like just look at how he talk. Yeah. L- look at what he, look at what he talk about. Conversation. You can, you can, you can just you can sense it. Posture. Indeed. But you could, you could be the doing you. what I do. All right, all right. Look at that. No, that is a beta. Yeah, but you could beat some alphas too, though. <laughs> some shit. No, That's I it. agree, but it's about. <laughs> She and Nick be like, hold oh, on, I'm an alpha now. <laughs> no, but like, the set. <laughs> no, like alpha a beta. <laughs> a beta, I can tell a beta, hey, shut up talking, man. Be f- fucking be quiet and shut up. And a beta, just shut the fuck up. Shit. My man don't do that. I tell yeah. Tony shut up. He's like, who you talking to? Yeah. I know Tony don't do that. What? <laughs> he ain't having that. That ain't just a beta. That's a bitch ass nigga. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's an acronym. <laughs> 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 Hey, I got a question real quick. Uh, speaking on, you know, the Tank situation and yeah. the Ryan situation, like, you know, we we all know that people, like, pull gimmicks and stuff when they're trying to promote a fight or they're trying to promote something. But when is, like, when is it, Where what's the line? Like, what is, what's going too far? I don't think these boxing niggas got a line, honestly. Mm-hmm. And I say that for the males. I yeah. think the women don't go as far as in the guys. These guys talk about each other, wives, um, kids religion like th- these guys is going low and then at the end of the fight they dap up you a good fight all that make it the fuck off me i l- know what you said but, about my but, 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 well yeah. sportsmanship <laughs> is i think sportsmanship just kind of comes in us when you a fighter some of us just got sportsmanship in us no matter what said what happened i got you got you and i block out so much shit that said to me it'd be like i don't care about what you said just know when i get in here i'm i'm whooping your ass whooping anyway your ass. is it, it cap though like do you think some of some of it is obviously to promote the fight you feel me like they're building up this feud so do you, do you think they kind of like i think i think any girl talking shit to me is cap <laughs> all of them cap i be laughing i'm like what <laughs> <you> <laughs> shit. so I, when so I when you got about none of it i'm like I, okay i saw you it's, it was uh, like I said, I'm an analyst, mm. and I seen y'all at the fight. You and um, yeah, bum bum, leash, huh? Mm-hmm. When that leash? Yeah, yeah. What when about it? Happen? Will yeah. it happen? Listen, I told her, you know, if she come to 54, she called me out. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not against a fight with her because she can't beat me. You yeah, know what I'm gotcha. saying? Like, I respect what she's done. You know, um, I respect that she thinks she's great. You know, but it's, it, it's definitely levels to this shit. And I ain't trying to say that she ain't, she's some trash, because I was cool <clears> with her. <throat> I like how she boxed, but we talking about somebody who spar and then ask me after they get done sparring, how did I do? Because I could tell you how you did and what you need to fix. <laughs> I don't have to have nobody watch me and, and ask them, how did I do after sparring? So it's like, she looking at it like <laughs> when, you're, when your idols become your rivals. Right. 
She looking at you as a, a, a really rival be, already. It's like, gonna be crazy like it's real. up here. She, you know, when no, I talk about it. like I talk about like the colorism of boxing, people are like, oh, why you bring race into it? Because she's black and I'm black, but I'm dark black. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm dark skinned. And she what they call the ideal African American. So when they when when she became undisputed, she thought that they supposed to erase all the all the all the shit that I did. And they supposed to put her on a pedestal. Like, I ain't done this shit and been here. Yeah. And so she got to smell on herself a little bit. And a lot of shit backfired. Like she tested positive for PDs. Oh no, you can't do that. <laughs> what they do that at Alicia? Yeah. <laughs> but you know still know. with that, I, you know, was like, you know what? She, you know, you're you're innocent till proven guilty. And she did have PDs in her system. She was suspended for six months to a year and couldn't and couldn't fight. And now she's about to have her return whenever the fuck it is. Yeah. But I'm just saying not to say like she thought she had the complexion to get mm. everything that she thought it was oh, gonna be what? a shortcut. Exactly. Right. When it's like it ain't, it's not no shortcut. Mm-hmm. Like, and I'm, you did it your way by keeping it nigga. Like you, like you real with K-I-N. it. Yeah, I am. Kept it real. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, kept a nigga, kept it real. But no, I'm just saying like they have this thing where like the dark skinned girl is ugly, but the light skinned girl is cute. And no I'm disrespect like, to Tony, but you fine as hell, too. Hey, though. trust me. I know this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but in the boxing community, like, no, not, don't matter complexion, right? What? I think y'all, I, I think, do y'all ever forget that? Yeah, yeah, y'all fight, but y'all, do y'all forget, y'all, y'all, se- y'all got sex appeal. Of course. You see what I'm saying? Not all of them. Don't do that. No, I didn't, you right. I, Some of them don't. My hey, bad. yep. My bad. He, he, he not wrong. What? I, he not made, wrong. You made me uh, some other... A, a, a female boxer. I'm not. I'm not. When you I'm, when you talk about girls that look I'm good. I'm talking about one and two. Her and Alicia. <laughs> I don't give a damn about that. And Layla Lee was fine too. So yeah. yeah. Them, but, them but, three she had sex appeal. Yeah. No, 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 she pointed out. Yeah, no, she no. no her I, but that, we got to go back to the 90s. Shit, nigga. Exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Right now, them two. And in person. Yeah. You better in person. I, mean, I ain't even got no makeup on. Yeah. I, she if fine, I would have came with makeup on, I would have shut it down. But she better in person if y'all, man, y'all. I'm like you said no disrespect to Tony. No disrespect. You got to pay But <laughs> Where you at? They get our food? He eating. He eating. Oh, shit. He ain't you can, you go nothing. ahead and eat and then come back. No, you bring my food. Oh, oh. I'm going to text him. Can I get uh, my I got, food I got, I got a question. Go so back to, you know, the uh, back and forth between you and Alicia. What a lot of people think that if two people want to fight each other, they just that just can't happen. You know, it's what I'm really saying? it's really that simple. It is. But talk about talk yeah. about how those fights don't happen, and talk about like being the A side and being the B mm. side, and 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 why fights don't happen when people think they should. Well, I would say that first, it takes two fighters who really want to fight each other. A lot of times, it don't be two people. Like like let's be honest, it'd be like on the internet, I want to fight you, I want to fight you, I want to fight you. But then behind the scenes, oh, I want to get a tune up. I want to fight this person first. I want to, I want to work on this and work on that. I ain't even good enough yet, but I'm gonna talk my shit and keep my name connected to where. Years. Right. So when it get time for us to fight, at least I know like I got some fans and shit. But I don't really want to fight that person right now. But when you go on the internet, everybody tweeting, oh, I want to whoop your ass. I want to fight you, and I and I fuck you up. And you talking to somebody like myself, who I've been undisputed at 54. Undisputed twice at 60, and I've been world champ at 168. So I've been 54, 60, 68. That's, I I don't, I haven't been here. People don't understand them big jumps, too. Like, wait, like, like like to train, like, like you you said, right now, you, you going up, you about to go up, right? So you're good. I mean, but not really up, but this is your walk around weight. Yeah. So what, what type of discipline do it take to really get 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 in boxing shape? Man. Like mentally, what, give, what give do you us have a to rundown go? of a of a typical workout day, a training day. So let's say I'm going down a fifty four. Yeah, fifty four is the lowest I've been, and I walk around at one seventy five, one eighty. But I'm in a that's what twenty one pounds. Eight, ten week camp. That's a lot. It's thirty. If I'm going on a fifty four. One eighty. To 154, I think that's 20. Is that 26, 36? 26. 26. 26 pounds. So I'm saying, let's start the day off, right? Mm-hmm. Breakfast. 
Everybody think breakfast is the biggest meal when it ain't. You need to be eating you some, not just no eggs, but egg whites. Mm-hmm. Take some, that yolk out. Yeah, get get the yolk out of there. That's I'm extra this calories. Shit down for me. I'm finna cut this yolk. <laughs> yes, get the get the yolk out of there. Now we talking about some. Okay, so what you gonna season the eggs with? Everybody love they season the salt, they salt, they pepper. Shit, we got Himalayan salt, a little bit of it with some pepper. Can't get no cheese, no onions, all the fancy shit. No. No, cool. then you no, no onions? There. No. Onions and spider? Well, you got to put the butter oh. in there to saute the onions. Yeah, damn, ain't, you no, right. ain't, ain't no butter. Damn, yeah. Right. Yeah, you right. But I'm dairy. saying, when our uh, dairy and cheese are off, don't even think about it. Mm-hmm. So then let's say you eat that right, boom. That's breakfast. Now, it's 9 o'clock in the morning. You got to go run. I'm running six, seven miles. Daily? Outside too, not on when the I'm, treadmill. I'm going down to that weight every other day. Yeah, oh, I ain't yeah. running okay. that down. Yeah. Rest so that's the first. Oh, you talking about the rest day? You ain't yeah. even got there yet. So look, walking boom. six. Miles. We got the breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> this our trainer. He he this, he. Uh, this is part of the, he. Uh, we no, are but look, but that's the trainer. Yeah, keep running it down. So you a trainer? Yeah. Okay, well, here we go. So we got your six mile run. See, <laughs> after your six mile run, you think the workout and stuff is over with. Now you got strength and conditioning two hours later. So you run at 9, you get done running about uh, 10, 10.30. Then you got 12, 1 o'clock where you got strength and conditioning. That's weights, squats, because you got to keep everything. Even though you're losing weight, you got to stay strong in this shit. Yeah, the muscle. So boom. So then after that, 6 o'clock at night, 6 to 8, 6 to 9, you got boxing. So what does boxing consist of? Sparring, hitting the bag, hitting the pads with your coach, um, w- working on certain shit. It- it's jumping rope. Ooh, you know what I'm saying? So ooh. that's a day you, where you it's like this. Lunch. Is, huh? You didn't say nothing about lunch. Did I did I skip that? Yeah. No, see the 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 lunch come after the strength and conditioning. Yeah. What you eat for lunch? Yeah. Yeah, so for lunch you gotta do your salmon. Matter of fact, whatever meat you want, just grill it. Okay, okay. gotcha. Ain't no mm. ain't no fried chicken and that stuff. Mm. And it's and it's air frying is it's, it's okay. Every once in a while. This, this air frying is all right. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to go ahead and grill or bake my food. So I got me some salmon. Mm-hmm. I'm going to do me six ounces of vegetables, spinach, broccoli, whatever, asparagus, okay. four ounces of rice. Brown, Brown rice or white rice? It don't matter. Brown. I do white because my nutritionist mm-hmm. says it's not really a big difference between calorie-wise. Okay. But you know brown, brown rice is healthier. It's really that soy sauce they be baking us out, though. Yeah, brown be good soy too, sauce, what? No, brown rice is the grain rice. <laughs> I say black rice is healthy. <laughs> My fault. Go, go ahead. ahead. What? You got you got excuse. <laughs> what? No. So then, the after you've done that, I just meant I just mentioned three workouts to y'all. That's three workouts in the day. I, I see. And you ain't picked the, the punching. She ain't picked no gloves up yet. So at nighttime, at no, six she's o'clock. Oh, no, she's no. I'm. I, so when you say pick up gloves, what that mean? She knows at nighttime. It's I know. Nighttime I'm yet. saying. Yeah. I'm just saying. Folks think that the boxing training is pick these gloves up. Mm-hmm. She from what? What you started at? What time? Six, six to eight thirty. Six a.m. Yeah, six. Well, at six a.m. I started. Yeah, right. Like and that. then she ain't get the gloves on till six p.m. Yeah. Mm-hmm. God damn. I ain't gonna lie to you. I was thinking them six seven miles. That's gonna be. All right, I did that today. <laughs> right. <laughs> And then tomorrow, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you doing a lot of shit in one day. <laughs> well, this is what I've been thinking about. If you can do all that and then still go to the gym and train, what the fuck is twenty minutes fighting? Mm. You are you. I only got to do one thing. I'm usually doing three things right. in the day. If you telling me all I got to do is just get in there and do what I'm been practicing to do, mm-hmm. I ain't got to run. I ain't got to lift weights. I ain't got to do no squats. I ain't got to do no push ups, no crunches. Just get in here and let my hands go. It's not an easy night to me. How you deal with that adrenaline, though, uh, the uh, adrenaline in the what? emotion part? Because you know that that's another aspect that ain't gonna happen in practice and in training yeah. and shit. I literally love what I do. When I get under them lights and I'm in the back room getting ready, coach be telling me, Caressa, sit down. Yeah. I be yeah. up back there dancing. That's I be shit, laughing man. like yeah. I done finally got here because I'm about to whoop this whole ass. Yeah. Do you I'm have to? to do you have to sometimes like say say you you know. It's say it's the fourth round, right? And you gotta pump, pump it. Like you don't want to like let it all out, even though it looks like you might knock it out. So you gotta preserve energy, or or not really. Women's boxing, man, like just that two minutes suck. 
the men fight three minute rounds, mm-hmm. and we got to fight two. You want you want Damn. the whole you want that extra mm-hmm. minute. Yeah, if they gave me three rounds for well, they gave me three minutes for ten rounds. I have so many more knockouts. Mm-hmm. I be I be hurting these girls. Yeah, so, and, that, and that 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 minute that you don't get that save them. That bell, yeah. that bell is gonna that say that. Saves a lot of lives. Who was that last fight we were watching it? Uh... Oh, Devin Haney. Yeah, Devin Haney was getting saved by yeah. everything. Yeah. So what? You... <laughs> my no, no disrespect. I, I, you know, I fuck with my boy. But, you know what? Yeah. Uh, when it when it comes to that Devin Haney fight, people act like they so illiterate, and I just have to say this: Yes, Ryan whooped Devin's ass. Mm-hmm. Yes, he did what he's gonna do. Throw that hook. He landed the hook. Mm-hmm. But the hook would not have been that powerful without the PEDs. Mm. It may have hit him, but it wouldn't have shook him like that. I mean, any I don't know if y'all follow me. I already told everybody in this. I told everybody. I said, Devin about to beat the shit out of Ryan Garcia. Yeah, you had. You I had let everybody him. know. Man, if y'all, y'all just crazy to bet against I thought he was Devin. innocent, though. Like, I thought he. Yeah. So if he passed all these if he tests, If he passed the Austrian, the Austrian not in his, uh, system which is crazy because how could he be in or did not be in there whatever but if he passed that then I, he's innocent if he innocent then that left was yeah. then, then, left then was that left was pretty fucking powerful right <laughs> yeah. but as of right now it's, he's still dirty okay, so, okay. But how, does, how does that work though if you test before a fight and you pass certain tests why after the fact does it come out you know what with vital testing i do vital testing and i was getting ready to fight against the girl and she tested positive the day of the week, uh, the week of the fight, uh, Hannah Gabriel. <clears throat> now, I tell Vada, I'm signing with y'all so I don't ever have to experience that. I should never be in a ring with a drug cheat. Mm-hmm. So if they take, we take a Vada test, it takes three days to come back with your result. Three. So I don't even understand why they tested them so close the to day the before yeah. the fight yeah, or like shouldn't. the day of the weigh-in right. then the day of the fight. That That makes no sense. Right. Cause it's like the results come back after. If y'all test them a week out, if they clean, they fight. I'm not. If I have to get in the ring with somebody who's a drug cheat, then why am I using the Vada testing for? Mm-hmm. It doesn't make it doesn't make sense. But when I seen that, I said, Yeah, it looked like you know, Devin might have some kind of lawsuit because you got to pay for Vada testing. It it actually comes out of your purse. Mm. So you paying for the body testing, it's to protect you. He should never been in there with Ryan if he tested positive. Right. So that's what kind of. Now personally, like, yeah. is it? I guess with that, it's like they. I feel like me personally, I think they gonna do it with those testing like that, so close, because one, they ain't trying to lose no money, you know, by not letting them fight. Nice. Uh, yeah. No, you don't play with me like that now. Yeah, no, I, I feel that. But, yeah, but they want to they they cash out. But that's where that dirty stuff come in yeah. behind the scenes. And they boxing, trying to I cheat like. it. They need to have a backup opponent. We got backup opponents for all my opponents. Oh, for real? Oh. Shit, okay. You mess up, the fans still going to come because they really coming to see me. Yeah, I'm giving you a shot. Yeah, yeah so at the end of the day, no, nah, I ain't got to get in there with, with no drug sheet. And if I ever do get in there with a drug sheet, she better be counting her damn days after that. Hey, she gonna, I mean, it's going to take a lot of drugs to, to get you <laughs> Yeah, but like, probably going to take about 16 yeah. of them. That's why I was saying I don't, I don't really care if Alicia doing. She can't beat me. Straight up. <laughs> you can have the No PD. cut on that. <laughs> what made you try MMA? Oh, you Lord. Like yeah. yeah. Oh, transition Lord. Transition to like street fighting. I forgot you did that. Yeah. You and just won. like fight. Yeah, I just had my last fight in Saudi Arabia. I won. Um, I'm two on one in MMA. I, I believe I should be 3-0, and but I lost a split decision in my second fight. Just won my third fight. But, man, I just hate for a person or another woman to feel like somebody's scared of her. Yeah. Like, the MMA girls was talking like, <laughs> oh, boxers could never come to MMA. We would beat all the all ass. Like, a regular, average Joe MMA fighter could come over to boxing and beat you in boxing. And I just was like, huh? Like, nah, this ain't that. Like, I was a hell of a street fighter. Yeah. And, um. <laughs> you know how somebody be like, girls I wasn't even me. talking to you, though. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, bitch, I felt hit. Nah, nah, nah. You <laughs> said what you said. No, no. Stand on that. I'm here. Look it up. Yeah. Amanda Nunes, they asked her, would she fight me in boxing? Because I wanted to smoke with her in boxing. She mm-hmm. knocked out Chris Cyborg with her hands. Pop, pop. Mm-hmm. First round, not, it knocked her out. Fuck the kicks in the knees. She yeah. hit her yeah. with her. Gave her the hands. Mm-hmm. So, when she gave Chris Cyborg the hands, everybody was like, shit, 
she'll give Clarissa Shields the hands. Hold the fuck up. Uh-huh. So I caught her out for a fight. And they asked her in the, uh, up in her press conference when she fought against me. She said, tell Clarissa to come to my ward and I'll choke the fuck out of her. That's how she talks. That's what she said. Yeah, yeah. She's Brazilian. She's she from, she from she Brazil. She's like the girl from Juana Man. <laughs> no, nah, I don't talk about her like that. <laughs> no, I'm saying, I love her, man. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm saying the voice. No, I, I don't know how some of these girls in a sports voice is deep, but oh, I fuck with you, man. Love them, love them for that. Yeah, whatever. But <laughs> she said she had choked the shit out of me. So when she said that, y'all don't even know. Like you, you gotta really be into something. You know what I'm saying? Like you gotta actually when you give your whole life to a sport, to boxing. And you hear somebody say that they basically make everything that you work for like, okay, yeah, you're a boxer, but I could just beat you so easy. And it made it, it made my skin hot. Mm-hmm. Have you ever uh, read the Bible and then like fire in your bones? Mm-hmm. I said, oh, she done pissed me off so bad. And I said, she said, if I if I come to her world, and I said, see, she'll never come over to boxing to fight against me. But she don't know me. I'm, I'm coming over there. Huh? Yeah. yeah. I'm on the way. You so flipped, I said, here I come. Cause I'm going to send you an ETA. The Floyd had Connor, made Connor come through. They should learn from Connor McGregor. He made a lot of money that night. Yeah. After the after the fifth round, winded. You know what I'm saying? That's, 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 that's a though. different type of stamina. That, condition, yeah. that conditioning different. Yeah. They get but he, three rounds MMA. He toyed with him. Yeah. Ran yeah, five yeah. minutes or five rounds for the but, championships. Okay. But now Floyd, he wanted to make it look good for the crowd. Floyd could have got chilling. Connor Early. out of there earlier. If he just to. give him a little money. <laughs> he was, he always mm-hmm. doing that. He was going the distance for to get more money. Mm-hmm. Boy, maybe what he said, Floyd, he he died. <laughs> Six round, he died. <laughs> <laughs> so look, with with that, did that translate to anything with boxing? You knew you was in a different sport, so it didn't have nothing to do with with boxing. Like, Mm-mm. with that I split, mean, like even I'm saying, even the training with the split was different. Decision. MMA the has a bigger different. brand uh-huh. than women's boxing. Mm-hmm. The MMA does. Yes. So when I went to MMA, I knew it would be a big deal. And really, no boxers go over to MMA, especially those who are world champions, because it's such a huge risk. Yeah, that's what I was saying. And <clears throat> my first fight, I fought against a brown belt, a girl that had nine fights, and been doing, what is it, jujitsu since she was a kid. And man, that girl was, she was rough. Yeah. <laughs> that like me, I'm a black belt in Taekwondo. <laughs> wow. Well, no. Okay, what are we talking about? Oh, that's real Bruh, talk. You see how she looking at you? She I'm, go, that, she I'm, goes, I'm saying you for real? I'm, I put this on my daughter. Let, let God strike me down tonight. Started I, was, right I started when I was three. But I'm saying she liked to fight. She might just want to no, see. No, I want to know. What exactly is Taekwondo, though? Is that when you kick or? Yeah. We, yeah, like I would see. <laughs> so, like, up until I was 15, I would do a lot of tournaments. If you come to my crib back home, bro, I got more trophies. kickboxing tournament trophies. All right, they really should have cast me. You on me. YouTube with your Taekwondo? No, 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 no. Long, long, long time ago. <laughs> Nothing long, on long, there. Long time ago. Long time ago. Long you know time. that we, like, we in the era that, you know. Yeah, we, we can look the shit up. We yeah. got it all in talk. Like I'm saying, this is way before YouTube. But you said you, no, you, YouTube been around since Soulja Boy. So. So, when I was 15, I'm 32 now. Oh, that, yeah, YouTube wasn't around. What's your name is? Lou Young. So we're going to look up Lou Young on here. He's going to Taekwondo. What I'm saying? Yeah, the story going to come up with the footage. <laughs> of him oh, doing an interview we gotta, we, about it. We, yeah, oh, okay. the footage, I can get that from my name. Like how he's telling us somebody will put in there Taekwondo. Like in the description. The description. Oh, okay, okay, okay. But he ain't, you ain't going to see him fighting. All right. Okay. <laughs> like, I'll, cause I'll, cause she was ready to look it up. I was going to look it up and see what you was working with. No, no, no. I, I'll show you. We'll show you the footage. Okay. <laughs> What what you think boxing could do more to promote women, women boxing? What you think, like, what, what would be your, like, because I know you say, like, you said women, y'all have to promote y'all selves, that, and you say you stress that, but I'm saying what can they do on their end? What you think they could do better? Who? Like, uh, just boxing in general. Like the PBCs yeah, and all Showtime, them, yeah. like, what could, how can they pour more into the women's side of the sport to get more out of it? I don't even think it's really up to the networks no more because it was up to them. I uh, I wouldn't be shit. I'm saying I think that it's really on the fans. Like mm-hmm. when they come and put their butts in seats and they buy tickets and they uh, shout us out and talk about us and yeah. and we're trending. That's what matters. I think that um that's where it holds the value at. 
Because I remember me talking about to Showtime, like, you know what? I, I think it's time for me to fight pay-per-view, you know? I was getting 450K views, just like Adrian Broner was. Mm-hmm. Um, when I uh, when uh, uh, when he was fighting, but they was paying him two two million, three million dollars. I was still getting paid 150k. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, how he getting paid more than me? We getting the same yeah, amount of views, yeah. right? So and, and I, what and what the chain? <laughs> the chain worth <laughs> chain more than chain that. more than that. <laughs> yeah. I ain't had a chain back then because I couldn't afford it. Oh, okay, okay. I, I just got this. Cause you gotta think taxes was. Man, but I'm just like, damn. <laughs> what all I'm I got saying, to do? They can't get you in that ring now for no hundred thousand. What no, the hell, no. Come on. Come on, man. Stop playing. Stop they, playing. They, they, they call with a hundred thousand. I ain't got my phone on them. Start yeah. laughing at them. I'm offering that she shit. She giving it yeah, away. I'm yeah. offering that <laughs> shit. <laughs> what? <laughs> you can't offer what I can offer. It's crazy. No, but um, now what I was saying though about. What Adrian Bronner? No, so I was just like, I think it's time for me to fight pay per view, and mm-hmm. and these motherfuckers told me, I don't, I don't, I don't have enough following for that. <laughs> and I said, what? And y'all getting the same amount of views, right? For, and and, and he got a million stuff. followers, mm-hmm. and I had hundred fifty k, hundred k back then, and I'm like, what the fuck? Views got to do anything? But that was just the way of them not giving me my opportunity, trying to and put also, you in a box. Exactly. Mm-hmm. But then, like, look at how to how do y'all discover? I'm my proof point. How do y'all discover men, other men boxers who are not the best boxers? Like, how do y'all discover them? Social media. They fighting on the card. Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? Like, Bow. Undercard. They fight on the undercard. Mm-hmm. I've never heard of so many boxers until they fought on the undercard of Canelo, Terrence Crawford. That's true. Yeah, 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 yeah. We don't even know who For they sure. are. Mm-hmm. Then after that, you start fighting. Because sometimes you be like, well, they undercard fight better than yeah, the goddamn. Exactly. That's exactly. Not, more often not for real. So they don't give women that opportunity. But when I mention it to them, they look at me like I'm crazy. Put me on the undercard of Terrence Crawford. Yeah, that's easy. That Put me be, on the undercard of Anthony Joshua. Deontay Wilder. Haven't done that yet. That should be easy work. But they don't want to be a women's boxing because if they did, they would do the exact same thing that they do for the men. Man. That's how I find about Floyd New Boston, the one that kind of like tank. They they put oh, on. Oh, what happened with you and Tank? Undercard. I don't know. What's, that little motherfucker just angry. And I was like, no, I don't let nobody come at me. He just mad. And maybe I think he did an interview recently and said he mad because he's short. Well, bitch, grow up. Oh, he probably done changed. You don't change religions and everything. He probably well, he cool should be, a little he bit. He should be less yeah. mad. Nah, oh, this is recent? Yeah. Yeah, he, 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 when you ain't eight, mm-hmm. that shit can't got me. <laughs> angry. You got to think Kyrie was tripping. Yeah. But we good now. No, I think that Hank has a problem with me Picking picking Shakur to be a better fighter than him, but that's that's your like what what do you want? I know yeah. I know that's my opinion, but I guess he's bothered by that. Mm. And I've and I've had he the probably, same stance. He probably looks, he like damn, I fought with her. Why she don't go against me? I don't go against him against nobody else. Yeah, you just called but me. Just you like said this. Shakur went to the Olympics with me. Yeah, yeah, you know just seen, yeah. y'all got out the mud together like silver yeah, medalists. Yeah. Like yeah. what yeah. we talking about? I feel that that's real. And I'm like, you know, nothing against Tang, but. You, you don't see Shakur putting weight restrictions on motherfuckers when they uh, fight? Or what is it called? The rehydration clause? I mean, that Ryan, nah, he woke Ryan ass, but Ryan was starving. Yeah, he the picture, they put the picture side to side. He sure the fuck was Different. starving. He looked like one of them hyenas in Lion King. <laughs> so what, what, now let me ask you this. When, when Scar was over the prize. When it comes to Shakur and, Javi- <laughs> and, and Tank, right? What's, why do you give Shakur the edge? I just feel like he's a better boxer. And people think that Shakur can't punch, but he's strong as hell. He's always in shape. That last fight he had, I was, I, I'm a, I'm a fan. I ain't Let's like it. Real. I ain't like Let's it. I ain't like 100%. it. 100%. I ain't like that shit. I said, but, what the f- come but, on, man. But one of his hands is messed up, so we don't get no pass for that? Roy Jones was with, with one hand. Y'all must have forgot. <laughs> no, he said he said that shit. But at the end of the day, people gotta realize that. Would you rather him go in there trying to fight the dude with both hands, knowing that he can't really work one, mm-hmm. and go in there and lose mm-hmm. a close fight? Like at the end of the day, when it matters, like they talk about yeah. knockouts and knocking people down. And at the end of the day, the first thing that comes first when you ask me, what do I want to do for my fight? I want to get the W. Win. So he got the W. It was just the style. I just thought it, it was. Hey, he, hey listen, he, he moved a lot, but can we talk about? How, what the fuck the motherfucker name was? Edwin? You've been boxing for I don't know how long. If Shakur running, cut the ring off. Like, where is your boxing IQ? It, it, it's not Shakur's job to make the fight easy for him. Okay. He had to use what he used and do what he had to do to get the W. Now, 
yeah, he was moving a lot, and like they said that uh, that the fight wasn't that explosive or whatever. Well, Mr. Edwin, Mr. Knockout Puncher, you should be able to cut the fucking ring off. He was quick, too. He'd been boxing for a long time, too, and was undefeated. So it ain't all on Shakur. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But I think his next fight, y'all done pissed show, him off yeah. so bad. He's he going to have to yeah, show. He's he going he gotcha. to show something. He got to show me. Quick, big quick show. question. So are the boring fights the most technically sound fights, per se? So, like, we talk about the Shakur fight wasn't so entertaining or whatnot, right? It wasn't even a lot of technical, but okay. But I'm, I'm, but I'm asking. Yeah. Like, when the crowd. Well, wasn't technical about it. Not, I, okay. See what I'm saying? But what I'm saying is, I just felt like it should have been, not that it wasn't, because like, he's very technically sound. Yeah. I get what you're saying. Like, sometimes that the technically sound fights can be born. It's you not know what a I'm bunch saying? of haymakers, yeah, yeah, this, that, and third. Yeah. A bunch of defense. Right, like, right. Defense like, like, a, like a Floyd versus Floyd. Counters. 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 That's counters. That's right. Reading. That's yeah. That's, that's, that's but at the same time, I and I always say this, boxing is the hurt business. You want to hurt people, that's what keeps the fans coming back wanting to see you fight. Right. He just did not have the ability to do that in, in that fight because whichever hand was messed up, he wasn't able to do that. But... Did he hit Edwin whenever he felt like he needed to hit him? And he won most of the rounds. It wasn't like Edwin was getting him in a he, he couldn't get him in the corner. He couldn't land to the body. He couldn't do nothing. And he's talking about some oh, Shakur ran. You knew before you got in there with Shakur, whether his hand was all right or not, he wasn't gonna just stand there in front of you. Shakur. He protect himself. He's yeah, he's true. very defensive minded and he's like strategic. Mm. So he's not gonna stand there and let nobody hit him. So you knew before you got in there with him that you're going to have to cut the ring off to land your shots. And he didn't do that. He did, I think he didn't even have a game plan, but he's like, oh, he's crying about, oh, I lost the fight because he was running, blah, blah, blah. At the end of the day, he still landed more punches and he still he still beat you up in that aspect. So it's your fault that you lost. You had a question. Yeah. Um, so speaking of, you know, the Olympics and you having so much success in the Olympics, um, Sean Porter once said that his father prevented him from doing any kind of Olympic trials or anything because he didn't want the competition across the world to get a, a early look at him before he got turned pro. So my question, a two part question is, how do you think um, that played into your favor? You going to the Olympics and winning the Olympics and then turning pro. And what does parents controlling your boxing career what is the good and the bad in that when it comes to uh, parents being super involved? You in asked a good ass question, boy. I'm like, actually damn. disappointed to hear that. <laughs> to that hear he that. Did, that his father prevented him from going. Absolutely. Because what? <laughs> what? That's you crazy. Just don't that thing and I get it. <laughs> I, no, I, I, I don't agree. I can't, I, I've never heard that till right now. I'm shocked as hell. That's like my rest of soul, but my aunt had a, a husband and he I had just lost only lost one fight in the amateurs. And after I lost that fight, I was pretty upset. And he said, uh, you need to go ahead and give up school or boxing and start spending more time at the house and help him with the house. He said, Cause you ain't gonna win the Olympics, no way. That's what he said to me. And my only response back so that was, you don't know what the hell I'm going to do when I get to the Olympics. Mm. How you know? Like you a fortune teller. Yeah. Ain't nobody no fortune teller. You don't know what's going to happen. But I feel like. You said Aunt Paz, then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, rest his soul. Nah, speak on it. I was going to say, you should have knocked his ass out. Uh-uh, uh, go on. No, rest his soul. He apologized before he passed. Oh, he had to. Yeah. You yep. made him. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you went and won the Olympics, though. <laughs> but I'm saying that's just people put their negative thoughts on it. Man, that could have, what have you been listening like? You right, huh? Yeah. And you didn't go. And yeah. I was only 16, and I felt like wow. back hey, then I was very I'm mentally sure. weak. Yeah. Yeah. I wasn't mentally weak, but I'm not, I wasn't strong as mentally as I am now. Mm -hmm. So I felt like that's made me not, not like him because I was like, he looking at no punk ass bitch because I would have just been like, yeah, you right. Mm -hmm. And I just would have just not did it. But from there, I bet you was like, well, it's nothing But you I went on to fight. You fought her again, and y'all, you beat her, right? Oh, whoop Savannah yeah. Marshall ass. <laughs> <laughs> but see, Savannah. That's a different type What's of drive it? there. A different type of motivation. You know what I'm mean? saying? Yeah, but it just was like, so to go back to your question. The Olympics, actually him going to the Olympics, in my opinion, would have gave him the ups in, in the pros. Why? Because when you first start your pro career, you fight against people that's in America. You ain't fighting against people from Brazil, 
Puerto Rico, uh, New England. Is it New England? No, Great Britain. You know what I'm saying? You're fighting against Americans. But the more experience you have um, internationally, it makes you a better fighter. That's why when these girls come beat me, I'm like, I done, I done seen everything. Mm-hmm. I done fought against China. Around the world. Oh. Right. You see the different Russia, tactics. Kazakhstan. How many amateur fights you, you had? 77, 78. Shit. That's a lot of fighting. Oh, Shit. That's a lot of goddamn one. fighting. And he was talking about one fight you lost? 71? But they, what did he say about the wins, though? But that's what I'm saying. Like, we got to start, like, people, like, be, like, you know, critiquing <laughs> the wrong stuff. Crit- if you're going to critique me, critique me all the way through. Don't critique me when you see me do uh, something people bad. people can't do that. Yeah, yeah they can't do that. that. You know, that's, that's natural like reaction right. yeah. to go to the bad shit. Damn, Damn bro, how you missed that shot? Right. Nigga, I had 40. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you, about? you be watching NBA? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who you got winning the championship? Hey man, I'm a huge fan of Anthony Edwards. That's my dog. Hey, yeah. Yeah. That's hey you got. See, you you're got. in the right spot. Come on, you're in the right spot. Come on, hey, you're in the right spot. Believe hey. that. See, I feel. Atlanta. Come on, yeah, man, you, man, you, you gotta, always welcome here, man. You got, you got the right mind. Yeah, man. He's showing up. Hey, Lou, that one hard. You got a copy right there, Atlanta. You got hey, it for real. Yeah, come on. Hey, no, I just can't. I've been coming up with it. Hey, come on, that's hard. That's. To me, that is what well, we, you know, how I feel about my dog. The face of the league. Yeah, for sure. For you to be the face of boxing, to call yes. the face. Of, yeah. If you don't yeah. mind, you can sign. Yeah, yeah, I got you. To call and you know, and yeah. it's still a loop. Ah, oh, damn. You, ain't gonna, you, you wanna finish the interview or do it? Or keep it? Huh? Oh, <laughs> no. Oh, oh, you can right right sign the while we. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we do that one. No, I saw it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, she might just get the hell up out of here. We gotta get this. Hey! <laughs> nah, man. Wait, did you eat without me? What in the world is wrong man, with you? Man, shout out to Tony. Tony. Tony said you work. You, Tony said you working, not me. <laughs> what in Sorry. the world, though? I got to eat. You know I ain't. No ain't we ain't going to hit those on? Yeah. <laughs> Flint. Hey, ain't uh, Draymond from Flint, too? No. Saginaw. How far that is? Saginaw. Saginaw. Saginaw about 45 minutes. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's like a little fighting little... But no, I feel Michigan like Michigan period. Yeah, Michigan, nah, Michigan, not, Michigan. Well, they got the Upper Peninsula. That's a little crazy too. Him, him going to the Olympics would have helped his career. You think so? Okay. Absolutely. Like I said, it, it's not a style that I haven't seen. Mm-hmm. It's not a style that I haven't watched. You know what I'm saying? I I, I met so many different fights. Like like I had a fight. Ooh, I'm ooh. Don't even look it up. Y'all y'all gonna look it up anyway. But what's the girl name? Lydia, Lydia Pool or something. This girl was some motherfucking um, Poland. Mm. Man, that girl rushed me the whole goddamn fight. I'm talking about she ain't stopped. I'm talking about this girl was like a fucking pit bull. And she kept coming. She, I was trying to box circles around this girl. That bitch kept coming, kept coming, kept coming. Man, we got done with the fight. She had two black eyes. I said, okay, I, I, I did a good one. I won unanimously, but man, after the fight, I was sorting the motherfucker. I said, "Oh, I'm so happy I ain't got to fight tomorrow." She earned them black eyes. Like she made you, she made you give them to her. She but no, it. something was crazy though. The next day I seen her, not a one black eye. Mm. After the fight, she had Mr. Oh, Miyagi she was black. Shit. She was black. Oh, they they had different techniques. Purple and shit. They get the, the man. The the them. next day I seen her in the elevator. Man, this girl ain't have not a damn scratch on. What she say when she saw you? She just looked at me. I just was like. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted mean. to give her another one. Yeah. What the fuck was you on yeah. last night? Yeah. <laughs> black eyes at me. Hey, do you be talking shit in the ring? It depends. Like, like, t- like. I really be a different person. I'm not even the same person. You don't even know who you might be when you in the fight. What, well, Clarenzo? Oh, that's your that's alter ego. Alien. Okay. Mm. And I, people, you know, with this whole transgender gender shit going on. I used to say that I used to say that Clarenzo was a boy, but I'm gonna say Clarenzo's a girl to make everybody feel comfortable. All right. But Clarenzo is like that nigga though. And when I get in there, that's who I am. And you know, having to be a woman, you always gotta be like nice and you know, gotta be cute and you gotta be politically correct. And it's like in the ring. She put three times on that motherfucker. Yeah. Yeah. Go ahead, my bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we excited. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But no, um, in the ring, I feel like I I, like, I get to be my true self. I'm always getting told, like, damn, you a little mean. Like, why you so mean? It's like, I'm really just, uh, my grandma Joanne was very just, like, thoroughbred. Like, she don't take no shit from nobody. My mm-hmm. my grandma was probably about 5'11", 6 feet. 
and yeah. she would whoop your ass. I'm talking about she she would. This shit hereditary. Yeah. <laughs> my mom my mom got them things too. Bloodline. What? Yeah. Bloodline. Oh, yeah. The different. bloodline yeah. or something. Now there might be a crazy question. When did you start getting ass whoopings like from your, your family members? Like, like, cause you belt? fighting at sixteen. A belt? Yeah. yeah. You know what? Y'all gonna laugh. I've only got two whoopings my entire childhood. I can believe that. One by my dad, one by my aunt. But I was a good kid though. Oh, I, okay. I had an anger issue you and all that, but so. I was a good kid. I'm thinking because they, think like, they probably say, you, you say what? She, she, you call yourself who? Clarenzo. All right. Man, what are you <laughs> You know, I ain't no more. Yeah. yeah, you talk to Take her. your grown ass on. <laughs> you talk to her. That's your child. <laughs> nah, for sure. When you um, when you walked in here, you said you probably beat us all up, and we all believe you. Who you think could take out first? Looking around the room. Take what kind of question first? is that, bro? I stop think... asking silly questions. I think it's a good question. You know how you get? Yeah, that's a good. Take question. out first. Yeah. Uh... Look at this little one over here. <laughs> <laughs> I got guns. I don't care. Man, <laughs> that, brother. I'm too old to be fighting anyway. <laughs> hey, hey, man, want to pull a gun on a woman. <laughs> no, no, I'm just looking around. Like I feel like I feel like size does matter. So yeah. like up on this side of the room, like these guys got like some size on them. So like I'm looking at you, you like I, about, I, I see you. One too. Nah, you, you <laughs> talking about he got three, size too. Yeah. You can three. say me. I ain't gonna get offensive. It's, no, it's all good. what that you got? You got size? No, you can say you could. You knock me out first. It's all good. <laughs> no, I'm just looking I ain't around. Sensitive. So no, I'm looking like okay, boom. But then it's like. He's skinny too, but sometimes skinny guys got like a little power. Let me see a muscle. Nope. You. <laughs> hey, he, he stuck the motherfucker up like he was skinny. No, so I'm looking, I'm like, Real nigga. I'm looking around like, you know what, this side of the room, like these guys here, I got to have some good defense with, got to hit them to their body because they real strong, take some wind out their ass. But then over here, excluding the beautiful girl over there, we're going to exclude no, her. Because, because girls, don't fight. No, girls don't fight. No, girls don't fight, We right? keep this shit equal. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know what? Well, she not. I can look at her like I can tell she don't take no shit. No, she don't. And she I can look out. at her and tell like her her energy. Out, like, and she work out. <laughs> <laughs> Talk that <laughs> shit. Yeah, yeah. 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 That, yeah. No, so I'm like up over there out of y'all. It's out of y'all too. I will get first. You say. <laughs> now I ain't gonna lie to you, I ain't got no stamina. <laughs> so if I miss that first punch, you, I'm gonna go ahead. And... <laughs> yeah. no yeah. play, no play, no <laughs> Start doing them hovering techniques. Tie up. Come on, come on now. Tie up. <laughs> yeah, I'd be like my boy. Uh... I'd be like the referee, like that one black dude that be refereeing. The big guy. Uh, you know the big guy guy. Catch me. Oh yeah. He funny. He man. damn near be wanting to fight. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's all. <laughs> do, you, do you think any of us could take a punch from you just standing still? Bro, what's up? 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 What's Stand right there. Hey, right. Clar Clarissa. Right. No, Clarissa, knock his ass out. <laughs> he asked for some shit like that. Don't hit him, so. Look how quick she moving. Yeah. The glove is already on, boy. Look, <laughs> Tony, no. Tony quick. telling him what to do. You see how quick she did this shit? Yeah. Take the jacket off, too. Take the jacket off, yeah. <laughs> and your hat, nigga. Oh, shit. Now the hat gonna fly off. <laughs> Clarissa, I'm uh, telling you, please do not. Hey. Are you gonna do this for real, Thad? Yep. I got you. That's I got what you. he want, bro. I got you. He grown. Uh, yeah. He making me laugh. I can't believe he's not laughing. All right, now I'm gonna make you stop laughing. I'm, I want this shit to be for real. All right, all right. <laughs> no! <laughs> Come on, bro. It's it, it gonna be quick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you can do it five or three. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get it. Oh! No, 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 you good. That's worse, bro. You can't pick and choose kind of punches, bro. All right. What you put? Yeah, he can take that. Both of them. Nigga, what? This nigga a whole ass nigga. He doing this with respect, man. Not a real All right, all right. Yeah, come on. We ready. Let's see what we got. Don't think about it. Don't think about it. Get his ass up. Get close up. Yeah, I don't knock you over. Like, you see how you stand? You gonna fall back. Yeah, just brace yourself. Like, you gotta, like. Put the left foot up. There you go. Hold up. Are you ready? Hold on. No, 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 no. You ready? <laughs> oh, oh, shit. Oh, shit. That shit hurt, man. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hey, get in there, Lou. <laughs> Let me go next. Oh. Come on, come on. 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 Come
Cortisone, oh, sit down. Oh What's your nickname? Cortisone, <laughs> sit down. Time to sit Clarenzo. down. Lorenzo. See Clorenzo. Right sit down. They can't fuck with you. Then we go ahead and come back this way. I saw some facial reaction, boy. Hey. Yeah. Please sit down. Hey, salute, man. Salute to y'all, man. Y'all, hey, y'all some tough dudes, no, man. Tony won't even do that. Now, that was, about, that was I ain't gonna punch the power. You got there crazy. Oh shit. That's how you know I'm trained for yeah. shit. It's a good strategy. How you train and you fail? <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Now, <laughs> now, but you crawled and shit. Oh, nah. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, Where did that? Who had this? That shit for real, Who? Where did that She knocked a oh, nigga hat off. What you mean gonna stay on? This ain't no Cam Newton machine. Okay. gonna come off. You got your phone and stuff? Man. Okay. Okay. That's a, is that get that, on, <laughs> that get that on camera though? Yeah. Oh yeah, I don't think nigga. They missed that. I nigga, appreciate that. Tell my edit that out. I, no. Who can say that though? <laughs> what? Who can say that? You know. Yeah. They took. They took a. Come you know on, man. I fuck with you, bro. But y'all didn't take it. <laughs> Congratulations. I fuck with you. What the fuck are we clapping on? <laughs> she knocked both of you niggas out. I, hey, I, but I, hold on now. I was. I was like, y'all for real? Man, I ate hey. that shit. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let me. Look, she Ooh. had fun right. now. She time, looking around. Who else want one more? <laughs> man, yeah. I was, I was thinking he was gonna stand up next. I'm about to have fun with him. <laughs> 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 he didn't tell me to stand how I stood. I would have flew. Oh, that's my little cousin. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. That's what you gotta have that. He was put aside. Yeah. I'm like, why is he standing like that? He gotta, he gotta close up a little bit. Why yeah. I was able to give him that technical that stuff that because like I got told folks I really did this shit. It, 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 where they can find you at, man? Shout out your Instagram and, and, and especially about your YouTube. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So I'm at Clarissa Shields everywhere. Clarissa, not Clarissa. Clarissa. So C L A R E S S A Shields. S H I E L D S. All my stuff got blue check marks. I'm at a hundred. I'm at eight hundred eighty-three thousand on Let's Instagram. Let's get it to a million. Let's get it to a million. Yes, sir. If you do this, Trap News and 85 South Show, you should have a million. Easy. And if for you sure. don't, they hate. For real, for real. Hey, listen, I'm I'm with it, but I just, you know, respect the process. And then on YouTube, I'm Clarissa Shields 1. Clarissa Shields 1. Oh, but all y'all oh. put in Clarissa Shields, uh, you know, uh, freaking YouTube, up. and it's going to pop up. I got 60,000 subscribers on there. I got I to gotta find that you and Lydia fight, though. Man, listen. <laughs> this girl, and it's the amateur. This girl was rough. I want to see that. And that's how I know that she knew how to fight. She kind of built just like her a little bit. Like her back all whatever. Well, shit, let's see. Stick on the back. your ass up like Lou. Like Lou and Thang. Hey, man, that nigga fast. Fast still pressing this fucking on that line. No, I told him y'all lift up and take a breath, man. I gave him a good one. Yeah. That's bullshit. He needed that shit, though. Boom. He been fucking up all month. Boom. Yeah. Oh, no shit. Yeah. Like, Y'all wanna do it for real? Man, she got on so fast. But I'm saying, yeah, fact. you eased up. You should've gave and one. You should've gave one on the combo. Head, oh my God, you wouldn't even, <laughs> you wouldn't you wouldn't even be in here no more. We get real shit. Oh, uh, them, them knuckles would've hurt. Yeah, when I put the glove on, oh, I'm yeah, like, yeah, let's, yeah, let's yeah, get some padding in there. Like, let's be safe. Let's be safe. I think his ass, he trying to get fired anyway. He been looking for shit. Stop. They put me up to this shit, man. No, no, on the real though. I got it on camera. You got cousins and stuff? But you got like you got any girl cousins who know how to fight? What? Damn. At least she don't think they can. See, fight. I was about to say I got I got a hundred k for any bitch that can whip me. A hundred k. You can know anybody? Damn, she damn, just, you just yeah, ready she's just, recruiting. I got a hundred. Pull up, man. I got a cousin <laughs> cash, but she Instagram, she just ain't in shape. Hey, she'll yeah. fight you though, but she ain't <laughs> in how many rounds you think she'll last? <laughs> Uh, I'm hitting with that bite, so they, they all gonna last one. Yeah. I'm going there loading that bitch up. Pow! <laughs> hey, you hit a, hey, you hit him in their body. I'm telling you, girls and dudes, it's over. That it? Down on Ben Denny. Bernard Hopkins, when he hit Delahoya. 
Boy went that body shot just went took a knee. The same with uh Garcia and Tank. But not the truth though. He the truth. That's what I say. Who your Mount Rushmore male boxers? There ain't too many women. Mount Rushmore male boxers. There ain't too many women. It's just you and Layla Ali for real. No, no, no. When okay, if we go to female Mount Rushmore, I got myself and Wolf, Katie Taylor, and Manny Serrano, and I add Layla on there. Okay. Now what about men? Oh. Dang, I gotta replace one of them with Lucia Riker. But the men, am I doing like current? Or am I doing whatever like just you, forever? Whatever forever, you yeah. Yeah. So if I'm doing like forever, you guys may not know about Sugar Ray Robinson though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like that's that's the king that right there. That's him? that's the king. Yeah, that's slick, man. Um then we got of course Muhammad Ali the GOAT. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna add Terrence Crawford on there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Floyd Mayweather on there. Yeah. And Andre Ward. You know, a lot of people. A lot, a lot of people leave him off. A, a lot of people. No, a lot of people are big, big fans of Andre Ward. But I'm saying when they be. Oh, oh yeah, 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 yeah. You know he what? I I love about Andre Ward is um he could have done so many different things to make himself be bigger, like that went against his morals. Mm-hmm. And even though it would have been easy for him to do, he never did it. He always stuck to. Son of God, uh, never really cursed much, handled his business. He didn't care too much about the fame. Mm-hmm. He just was Andre Ward. He trained in the gym. And I remember because when I first came out and I was boxing, my first couple of fights, he thought that maybe I was trash talking to like get attention. Cause he didn't really like know me. Like he knew me, but I got two Olympic gold medals and uh, Olympic pedigree and world championships and stuff like that. I remember he pulled me to the side. He said, you know, you ain't got to be like that if, if you don't want to. Like, if if it ain't you, don't do it. Mm-hmm. And I said, Andre, that's, that's me. I'm like, <laughs> ain't nobody put, ain't nobody put me <laughs> up. Yeah, I'm like, and he was like, oh. I'm like, yeah. Like, I know where you was going, but nah. Like, this ain't that. Like, I'm a woman of God too and I, I believe in Jesus, but listen, God ain't got me to that point to where I'm like, oh, you slapped me. And I'd be like, oh, slap me on the other cheek now. I ain't, I haven't made it there yet. So even when it comes to conversation, like when a girl talking shit to me, like I go and do my research before I start talking shit to girls. Cause I'm like, what's gonna make her real mad? Mm-hmm. Oh, you go to, you like, go to like, like what's gonna trigger her? And I'd be like, oh, okay, she got a husband that fight. Okay. I will be when your husband ass. Mm. Like I go, I make them where they want to fight me at the press conference. Yeah. Because we can get it cracking there. Mm-hmm. I don't care. You don't say nothing about the kids, though. No, I don't. Leave the kids alone. I don't I I I talk about kids or babies. I'm good there. And I try to stay away from my It depends on what age the kids is. <laughs> what's, what's the age bracket, though? <laughs> 16 and up. 13. You said 13? 13. I mean, uh, he, must, he must have got beat up by a 14 year old or something, because my mother ain't say 13. Yeah, I'm saying if you 13, shit. <clears throat> These kids out here cussing in videos, cussing and drinking. Twelve years These old kids with a gun. Grown as a motherfucker. You twelve walking around with a gun. I'm telling you, breaking your car. Yeah. Nah. Sixteen. They got Dracos now. <laughs> Shit. Okay. Earlier. In Atlanta, Atlanta twelve. 30, yeah, for real. <laughs> Atlanta twelve. I don't even like going to Atlanta Station no more. What? Like, what? Them twelve year olds is what? They in walking around school. with this. It's starting in middle school now. That shit is crazy. That's nuts. Oh, they listen to that NBA young boy, that anti the menace and all them. Man, I don't know, understand. man. Listen, bro. I don't, I don't care what nobody say. NBA, nothing. I ain't gonna say nothing. Yeah. He need a therapist, bro. You just saw that video, didn't you? He need a therapist. Oh, he got a new. He did something new. He need a therapist, a, though. A like a new, uh, a, a video just resurfaced it of him like at a hotel, oh, similar man. to. The oh, oh I ain't surprised yeah, at that. that yeah. I just, I just hate that we got people that be around us. And they don't tell us the truth. Mm. Like, tell that motherfucker the truth. Could I now? Could I ask you this? And if you don't want to answer, we ain't gonna put. Like, what would you do to Diddy though? Like, like Diddy? Yeah. <laughs> oh man. Dude. Man, listen. Hey, I want to know too. <laughs> I forget who I was talking. Was was I talking to you, babe, the other day? Oh, who I talked to? No, I was talking to Chaotic Ass. He came in, came in one of my interviews. Oh, shout out, yeah. Chaotic, and I said. Let's pretend that I'm Cassie and you Diddy. And I said, I want you to come and grab me the way that he grabbed her. And he was like, fuck no. I said, yeah, you just come on and come do it. <laughs> he, he went and he like gave me like a little touch. I said, but if he would have grabbed me, man, I was going to grab his ass and slam on the goddamn floor. 
And then get on top of him and just beat him down. Ass out, because he was in a row. <laughs> That hand on that towel Oh! But you know what? Girl, stop that shit. You know what, bro? I just, I think, up up, up on a good note, Mm -hmm. people are so against women learning fighting. But at a time like that, you see. But at a time, yeah, it it would have, it would have. See, the thing is, I think it would have prevented that from happening Mm -hmm. because when a man just know that he can't do that Mm -hmm. he not even gonna do it because not only okay i ain't gotta beat you in a fist fight but at least you know i'm gonna fight you back i'm gonna grab a knife right i'm gonna grab something i'm gonna protect myself exactly right so people when i when i hear about boxing they say oh it's for uh, women that's angry and and it's and it's not ladylike and all that stuff and it's like when has learning how to protect yourself became not ladylike Mm -hmm. or it became bad. It's like, I would rather my niece who's three, my niece just turned four. I'd rather her come home and say, Auntie, I got I got into a fight and I beat the girl up. I don't or or I beat the boy up. But I don't wanna have my niece because I actually experienced this with my nephew. He Scared, Yeah, he, he came back and he was like four or five and he told me he got into a fight. And and the first thing I asked is, Did you win? And I just it just the way he looked, he was like, No. And I said, well, it's a kid fight, so how didn't you win? Like, you was either tired or something. Like, what happened? And he just was like, I was I was scared to fight him back. Mm. So I'm like, you didn't even give yourself a chance. Yeah, you don't know what you're capable of. And so I put them him in the boxing. Ones when they get older. Oh, yeah. They terrorize. Or, but but if they learn just like she said, just get the, even fighting or boxing, it give you discipline. Mm-hmm. Just to, just to know. you. Confidence. 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 Yeah. Just to know that, yeah. hey, man. Self-esteem. Don't... I'll be telling with the entertainment that we do, like, these jokes are jokes, but, you know, don't do that because, you know. But I will say this. <laughs> <laughs> I will say this with you coming sitting down. It's just showing, like, you held a conversation. You ain't got upset about nothing. So it's just people like, <laughs> no, I'm just saying because people, if, like, if they want to call you angry and mad, like, You've been chilling, talking, laughing, laughing yeah. vibing. I yeah. think it's just. But this Clarissa, they, it's my they job, be saying though. Clarenzo. Yeah, it's my yeah. job though. Like I get people tell me all the time, like, man, you look, you look nicer in person. You look pretty in person. And I'd be like, so I looked ugly <laughs> while I was doing my job. They'd be like, well, you just look mean. And I'd be like, well, you can't smile. You know, you whooping a bitch ass. Yeah, you should. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's really like it's. What's that now? <laughs> <laughs> Right, like I gotta, I got lock in. Yeah. But um, <laughs> like my dog from Harlem Nights. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> Ready? Somebody, somebody gonna get that ass. Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen Harlem Nights? Harlem Nights, y'all know what? I'll, y'all let me give me up to date. Who was that? Harlem Nights. Eddie Mar- Murphy. Go- go- uh, Richard Wait, is that, is that Richard when they went to prison? Uh, yes. That life. Yeah. That life. No, nah, everybody went to prison in Harlem Nights too. Everybody got locked in at one time. Yeah, she talking about life. Though. Oh. But wait. Yeah, I got it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you talking about life with Martin Lawrence. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Harlem Nights with Della Reese. Della Reese, she shot that's the her name. Toe. I did watch that. Oh, yeah. Murphy, okay. yeah. What's your top five comedies of all time? Then we out of here. Comedies? Movies. Yeah, or movies. Just like movies, because mm-hmm. you don't like to laugh. Well, no, <laughs> no. Like, comedy. I like whooping bitches' ass. <laughs> <laughs> you know what the fuck you talking about a comedy? Comedy, nigga. Comedy. Like, real life out here. Nigga, I don't want to laugh. You know what? I, I got to speak about like the best comedians. Yeah. Um, Dave Chappelle. Mm-hmm. Love him since I was a kid. For sure. You know, just the whole crackhead show, joke. You like the shit. show and all that. Love that. Uh-huh. Dave Chappelle. Um, um, shit. Kevin Kevin Hart is really funny. Mm-hmm. Cat Williams naturally just funny. He don't need no script. Right. He just naturally funny. Um... We don't consider him a comedian, but The Rock is funny too. And then Monique. Shout out to Monique. Shout out to the yeah. queen. Shout out to the queen. I, I always say when she be like, my sweet baby. <laughs> <laughs> I love when she say that. I be like, look at her. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna knock out a picture, man. Appreciate you coming yeah, through. For sure. Y'all Thanks. make sure y'all follow, follow the growth. The growth. The growth. Three times. Thank you. Three times, champ.